I've officially survived a thousand days in my hardcore world. And in that time, I've built some insane projects. So I thought, why not compile my entire journey into one epic movie? You'll see how my world progresses, but also how the quality of my videos has improved over time. Anyway, sit back and relax and enjoy my full hardcore movie. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Hardcore Minecraft series. If you're wondering why we're starting again, uh, it's because this happened. But starting again is not all bad because we get to play in the brand new 1.18 update. And obviously that means we get to explore the brand new mountains and the cool new caves. But anyway, there's not really much else to do other than just collect some wood. Let's get our first bit of wood. And make ourselves our first little crafting table. Wooden pickaxe, get some stone, and get stone tools. And perfect, there we go, a first set of stone tools, and we even got some coal as well, which is very nice. And actually, I think before we do any more exploring, I'm going to go check out this shipwreck over there. Oh my god, is it? it's like a complete ship. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. Okay, let's go into this room here. Oh my, diamond already. That is sick. And emeralds and iron as well, which is pretty nice. And there's one in here, yeah. Treasure map as well. Oh, I think it might be worth to just go for that straight away. And another one here. Oh, suspicious stew. I'm probably not going to risk drinking that because that could be pretty deadly. Okay, actually, it's going to be a bit of a weird start, but let's make a boat. And I think straight away, we'll go over and find what's in that treasure map. So we need to actually see which way we're going. Oh, I've got no idea. Wait, so we need to go south, north, south, east, southwest. Yeah. <laughs> Why did it take me so long to figure that out? Okay, yeah, southwest, which is that way. Oh, we've started to fill it in. I think it's over on this sand island over here. Oh, and there's some red sand. What's that biome called? Hopefully we get some cool generation. Yes, it's looking like a quite a big red biome. Could be cool to build around one of them, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, a mine shaft as well. Oh, this is such a good start. Okay, let's find this treasure first. Where is it? Okay, we need to go back this way. And yeah, it should be right around here. So if we dig down now, we should eventually find it. Oh, there it is. Oh, what is it? Oh my! Water breathing, loads of iron and loads of gold as well. This is such a good start. Don't need this treasure map anymore, so let's just bury this for someone else to find. Even though it's a solo world, so no one will ever find it. Okay, now we've got this, this thing to explore as well. We're going to get all our stuff from only chests. Ah! Oh my god, that would have not been good. This good of a start, and then I just die straight away to a creeper. I'm going to try and make this a long series, so no getting killed by creepers on the first episode. Oh my god, there's so many creepers. I just saw, like, two more around the corner. Actually, before I kill myself on the first episode, I'm going to make ourselves a shield and some armor. Okay, it's going night. We haven't killed anything. We've got fish, though, so let's just use that as our food for now. And yeah, start exploring this mine shaft. There was another creeper around here, so we gotta be careful. Oh, there it is. Let's get it out of the way before it sneaks up on us. Come here, creeper! Ah. Oh my god, it tried to suffocate me. Yeah, oh yeah, it's the terracotta place. Oh, I don't... Is it a bad lands or something like that? I think it's called that. I think in the morning, we'll get up to the surface and start looking for some food. But for now, we'll spend the night just searching this mine shaft. Hopefully, we can find some more chests and get some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> what? This is the chest out in the open. Um, I think 1.18 might be a bit broken. Is this me is this meant to happen? Never seen this happen before. Oh my golden apple, perfect. Oh, my, this start is so lucky. And glowberries as well. I think this is yeah, this is a new item in 1.18. Three creepers down there. Let's not go that way. Oh, and there's more of the mineshaft there. Uh, I guess there's not. <laughs> the world's smallest mineshaft. Oh, another chest. We haven't even been in a, in a cave yet, and it looks like we've been caving. Yeah, no, we don't need the suspicious... <laughs> we don't need the suspicious stew. It would help if I can actually talk. <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> there's a lot of mobs around here, because obviously it's night time. But we're in this really cool biome. And there's, oh, there's mountains up there. Let's just keep exploring more mine shafts. There's so many mine shafts. More over there. Okay, we're going to get stacked on these mine shafts. And then in the morning, we'll get some food. Ah! Oh my god, that was close. See, things like that going around these little corners can be so deadly if you're not prepared. 
But luckily we've got a shield, so it shouldn't be too bad. Nice. Oh, two chests. Oh, some more iron. Nice. Another golden apple. And some bread. We'll always take that. Ah, no. Get away. I do not want to die this early. And I've got such good stuff. So if I die, this will be so annoying. Okay, now that it's daytime, we'll try and get some food. But let's just loot the rest of this mine shaft. And then uh, we can go and get some food. Because we're quite low now. We've only got four fish. We're actually getting deep now. Nice, yeah. We're down to two fish. So we'll just explore this last little bit and then get up to the surface and get some food. Oh, this looks cool up here. Oh my god. This looks so cool. Massive lake in the middle of some cool red mountains. But yeah, I don't think any animals really spawn in this biome. So we might have to head over there somewhere to try and find some sheep and stuff like that. Come here, little chickens. See, I've got too much stuff, so it's hard to know what to throw away. Where did that other one go? Oh, there he is. Hey, don't be running away. Thank you. Oh, another golden apple. Three golden apples. Yeah, I can't see us dying anytime soon. I'm just going to murder a bunch of stuff, and then we'll start finding somewhere to live. Okay, it's going night now, and we're low on food, so let's just start smelting up this food, and then we'll go and explore that cave that we found down there. And bam. Okay, finally all our food smelted up, so let's just collect up our furnaces and stuff. What do we not need? Ah, I don't know what to throw out. Dirt. Okay, let's go over to this cave now. And yeah, try and get some more iron because we need a little bit more for a helmet and some boots. Okay, I think I might have discovered something. Spot the difference between my two hands. Look how similar they look. Yeah, well, they both look really similar. But which one can I eat? That's the real question. Okay, so, uh, how are we gonna get down? I think we'll probably just, let's just dig a little staircase down here. And hopefully we won't die to all of these mobs down there, because there are quite a few of them. Ah, this skeleton's already trying to kill me. Ah! No! Oh my god, look how deep that goes. Get rid of this guy. Not today, Mr. Zombie. There we go. Ooh, iron. Ooh, yes, more iron. There doesn't seem to be much iron in these veins. I only just got two. Okay, we've got 18 more iron. That is definitely enough, so let's just smelt it up quickly. Okay, so we've got all the armor and tools we should need now, so let's head back up to the surface and start looking for somewhere to build. Oh, that took a while, but now we're out of the surface, let's just start doing some exploring. I think I'm going to try and look for somewhere that's got like a giant snowy mountain, and then like at the bottom it's more grassy. So hopefully we can find that. Might take a while, but it will definitely be worth it, because I've got some cool ideas for the base I want to build. Uh, sheep, why have you set that tree on fire? Uh, okay then. <laughs> Ooh, a village, nice. Let's go check that out. Hello, Mr. Iron Golem. And now we just kill him. Very nice. How many did we get? I have no idea. Oh <laughs> yeah, and the cows still have my face. Forgot to take that off, but I think we'll leave it on because it's quite funny actually. Hello cows. Hello. Pig? Do you mind? I'm trying to sort out my inventory. Get off that. That's mine. Hello little baby villager. Goodbye. There's so many villagers in this village. It's only a small one as well. Where do you all sleep? There's like five houses and like 20 villages. Okay, goodbye villagers. I'm off to find some snowy mountains, hopefully. Oh yeah, those biomes are actually really cool. It's like jungle edge or something like that. Hopefully the other side of this will find like a snowy one. Because if we can build around this jungle and this as well, that would be really cool. Don't mind me chicken, just holding one of your dead relatives. Doesn't seem to be any snowy mountains over here. There are some pretty cool jungly ones. Oh, this is a cool area. It's got like the badlands, whatever that is, jungle on the hills, and also this grassy area as well. Okay, actually, I think I've decided I'm gonna build on this area here because this little like lake area here is way too cool to just not build on. And I think over on that wall right there looks like a perfect place to start our base. We're definitely have to, gonna have to come up with a better way to get into the base. Because this is annoying. Ah! Yeah, this is not very safe. Okay, I think we're going to build, like, right where this tree is. So, a 
Let's just get rid of it. Okay, yeah, so perfect place right up here. So let's just start digging out a little hole in this cliff. And then we can get our chests put up. And then obviously we need to collect some resources. Let's make ourselves a bed and have our first sleep of our world. Okay, nice. So it's morning now. Let's just head up to this jungle up here and start collecting some resources to build our base. Okay, so I think we should have everything we need now. We've got a decent amount of wood and obviously some oak wood as well. And we've got a little bit of stuff in here. We might need to get some more, but I'll just start building now and hopefully it turns out good. And there we go, we've got the main part of the base done. And now let's just do the interior. Okay, and there we go. The interior is now finished, it's looking pretty good. But you obviously might be thinking, how am I actually meant to get in and out of my base? But I've actually thought of that and I think I'm gonna make a tunnel system that goes behind my base and then all the way down so I can get to the water. And I also might make a tunnel that leads to the top of the cliff as well. So I'm just gonna make another pickaxe. There we go, and yeah, I think I'm just going to make two tunnels going back here, and then I'll just link them up in the middle. Okay, there we go, they're linked up, and now obviously we have to make the staircase all the way down to the water down below, and also the one all the way up to the top. And I think I might make them three by three, so this is going to take quite a while. Okay, nice, this tunnel comes out at the bottom now. Okay, and nice, so we've got a tunnel all the way down to our base from the surface. And also a tunnel all the way down to the lake at the bottom. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Oh, wait. I forgot you can't look at them. Are you gonna come try and kill me? He's too scared of the water. If I go here, will he come get me? What are you doing? Uh, can you show? Oh, what is he doing? He's just going in the water. Ah! Oh my, <laughs> that was a, that was such a bad jump scare. And I almost died as well, that was not good. Uh, here's a good tip, don't look at Enderman in the face in hardcore. Okay, yeah, as I was saying, let's get these tunnels widened out and then we can decorate them. Okay, so I just got finished digging out this area here and obviously all the way down to the water down there. And I'll do this one in just a minute, but obviously we're going to have to decorate it because we don't really want coal and stone and stuff on our walls. Okay, and there we go. The whole base is now finished off. We've got this nice little campfire here. And all this bit is decorated. Now, this took absolutely ages because obviously we need loads of logs for these stripes. But I think it's definitely worth it because it makes a nice entrance in and out of our base. And we can get in from down there as well, which is pretty nice. Okay, so now our base is fully finished. But collecting all of this wood and digging out all these areas has kind of used up all of my iron on tools. So I've had to revert to using some stone ones. But obviously that won't do, so let's try and find a cave so we can get some more iron. And actually first, let's just empty our inventory with all the stuff we don't need and take a few building blocks with us as well okay i think earlier when i came through here yeah i saw some pretty cool caves up there so let's just try and get up to those mountains and have a look in there oh we found one of the new cave types whoa this looks cool it's a bit, bit dangerous though and there's creepers down there as well so we've got to be careful before we drop down there let's see if we can find any iron up here oh my god this is massive oh no there's quite a few mobs in here though so we're gonna have to be careful oh one of these things that's why there's loads of zombies. Come on, get rid of these guys. Does that stop them from spawning? I think it does. Oh, another golden apple. Oh, what's that enchanted book? Ah, oh, not quite one. It's all right. Not amazing, though. We've got loads of food and stuff again. Useless beetroot seeds. Oh, and gold horse armor as well. And then here's some pretty nice things as well. Oh, another name tag. And two horse armors. Let's just try not to die and see if we can find any iron. There's loads of copper around, but can't find any iron. There's a lot of creepers about. 
Oh, what's that? Skeleton, stop! <laughs> I think skeletons are definitely the most annoying mobs. Why are you shooting so fast? Okay, he's dead. And now I'll get rid of this creeper. Okay, so I think it's time that we drop down there somewhere and try and find some iron down there. I don't see any, though. I swear there's meant to be way more iron now, but there's none. Maybe let's try and drop down the really deep bit over here, because it just looks like there's mobs down there and no iron at all. Oh, I want to try and hit one of them all. Goodbye, zombie. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, we got to be careful dropping down there. Okay, let's go down this bit. There seems to be a lot of water here. We jump into that. And then down here. I think if you land on one of these spikes, they're... <gasps> <Ooh. laughs> oh my god, it goes so deep. Ah! Okay, we've got to be careful. There's a lot of explosions happening. Some lapis. Oh no. This, is, this might not be a good idea. There's so many mobs. Okay, we got rid of all them guys. Let's get this bit of lapis. Ah, there's so many zombies. And no iron at all. Oh, iron, iron. Let's build a little wall so they can't get to us. Can they walk? Can you walk through these? No, you can't. Where do you think you're going? Oh, they can. Okay, little wall there. And then get this iron. This is the weirdest way to mine ever. And the iron in this little tiny cave here. Oh, yes, my iron. One iron. What's even the point? Oh, yes, there's more. I think there's more iron deeper down now. I think if you go to the tops of the mountains, there's loads of iron. And then also a bit deeper down, there's iron as well. We'll try and get like a stack of iron. At the moment, we've only got 14, so it's going to take quite a while. Hello, Mr. Skeletons. Oh, they're fighting. Who's going to win? Come on, right, skeleton. Yes, you did it. And now you must die. And yeah, we'll probably get some cold as well while we're here. It's always good to have. Okay, I think it'll probably be a good idea if we go even deeper. Oh no, that scared me. Oh my god, that was close. How deep does this go? What Y level is this? Minus 52. This is like almost the bottom of the world. Well, I don't even know if you can find iron this deep. Oh, come here, Mr. Diamond. We can make something with two diamonds. Ah, skeleton. Go away. Please be two diamonds. Please be two. Oh, yes. Okay, well, at least we got two more diamonds. We didn't even want diamonds from this. We just want iron, but there's no iron. What? One. Two. Nice. <gasps> more diamonds. Oh, do we risk it to jump into that? Oof. No, no, no. That's too dangerous. Let's just boringly staircase all the way down. How many diamonds this time? Okay, I think it's just one. Yeah, just one diamond, but we'll still take it. Oh my god, there's just three creepers over there just messing around in the water. No, go back and play in the water. Perfect. Oh no! Oh my god, that is a lot of mobs. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to fight that. And my sword's almost broken as well. I think it might be time to try and get out of this cave because it's getting pretty deadly. And if I've got no sword, then I'm going to be dead. But just from that small mining trip, we managed to get nine diamonds and 34 iron as well. But yeah, before we die, let's just swim all the way back up this tall bit of water and get back to base. Okay, and we're back. Let's just get all of this iron smelted up. Actually, I think while we're waiting for our iron to cook, we should probably sort out our chests because they're looking a bit messy. Okay, so now that we've got all these brand new shiny tools, we don't really need any more iron. But one thing I am noticing is living in this base feels a bit lonely. So I think it's probably time we try and find ourselves a pet. And I think I've got the perfect pet in mind. So let's just collect up some seeds. And yeah, if you've already figured out what pet I'm going to get, it's going to be a parrot. Because I think this sort of base is very suited to getting a parrot. Okay, but the question is, should we go to that jungle down there? Or this one? Or the one that's right back there? I think that one over there is a bit bigger, so we've got a better chance of finding the parrot that I want. Okay, so now that we're in the jungle, where would a parrot be? Do they normally, like, hide up in the trees, or do they just fly about the place randomly? Uh, that is not a parrot. I literally have, like, no idea how hard it is to find parrots, because the only time I've ever done anything to do with parrots is when I did the 100 days as a parrot. Oh, parrots, where are you? Oh my god, I swear they're not meant to be this hard to find. I've been through, like... <gasps> parrot! Let's go get him before he flies away, quick. Just stay right there. No, don't fly away. 
Okay, how do we get to him? Let's climb this vines. Climb up here and then park our over to the bird. Yes. Okay. Will you get tamed by 26 seeds? I think it should... No. What are you doing? Come back. Say, will 26 seeds be enough? I think it should be. Yes. Yay, little parrot friend. <laughs> He's just sitting on my shoulder. Yay, parrot. Can you sit him? Yeah, you do, you do sit him. Will he follow me? Yay. Parrot. And now we've got a nice little parrot friend. Let's just... Is he on my shoulder again? Yeah, he is. <laughs> hey, Mr. Parrot, you follow me all the way back to base. And yeah, we've got a long journey, so hopefully you don't get lost. Oh, he just teleports. Oh, another one. Mr. Parrot, how do you feel about having a friend? Yeah? Okay, let's go get him. Hello, Mr. Parrot number two. Would you like to be my friend as well? Yay! Two parrots. Do they sit on both my shoulders? <laughs> they do! I didn't even know they did that. Yes, Mr. Parrot. This is very cool. Well, while they talk to each other, we need to find a way to get back. Okay, you can show up now. Okay, we need to find a way to get back to our base without them flying away. I think they teleport like dogs as well. So hopefully if we just swim over here, they should teleport to me, I think. So if we go over here, yeah, they teleport. Where's the other guy? Oh, they're both there. Okay, nice. So yeah, let's just head back to base and hopefully they don't get lost along the way. Okay, here's our base. Let's just get down into it. And did they make it? Oh, I heard one of them. Oh, one of them made it. Where's the other one? Uh, No, where's the other one? Did I just hear him? Oh, he's on my shoulder. <laughs> Yay, we got both our parrots. Okay, well, now we're going to have to try and make a place where they can just sit. So maybe maybe we can just get them to sit on the end of my bed. I don't think it's going to be very easy to get them to land on it. Well, if I just push you next to my bed. No, don't get on my shoulder. Just go there. No, get off me. <laughs> you sit there. No. Oh, my God, this is annoying. Okay, anyway, guys, so now that we've got ourselves some new friends, I think it's time to end. So thank you guys so much for watching this first episode. If you enjoyed it, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in episode two. Starting with nothing, I'm going to see how fast I can beat the Ender Dragon in Minecraft Hardcore. Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of my hardcore series, and yes, in today's episode, we're going to be getting rid of all of this gear we got in the last episode, and then we're going to see how fast we can get to the end and kill the ender dragon. So let's just say goodbye to our little birds here, goodbye, and strip ourselves naked of all the stuff that we worked hard to get last episode. So let's just put it all in here. Oh my god, this is probably a bad idea. Hopefully I don't die with having none of my stuff on me anymore, but without further ado, let's start the timer. Okay, it started. Let's go, 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 quick. What we, what do we even need to do? Yeah, we need to get wood. So let's go up to this bit up here and get some wood to start with. Come on, quick, quick, quick. And I think the first thing we're going to do is try and get some armor and tools and stuff. So I think I'll go up to this vantage point at the top of my mountain to see if I can see any more caves. Ooh, there's a little cave here. Doesn't look too good, though, so let's just head up here. Oh, yeah. There's iron on top of the mountains now. Oh, my God, that's going to be so helpful. Please say there's a lot. Let's just make a crafting table quick. And get ourselves some stone, quickly get a stone pickaxe, and get some iron, because there is actually some iron up here. Perfect. Whoa! Oh my god! There's so much iron! I didn't even think about all of the iron being on top of these mountains now. And there's coal as well, so we can smell it. Oh, and there's loads of this stuff. What is this? Oh, this looks cool. Okay, anyway, I'm getting distracted. Okay, let's start smelting up all our iron. We got 35 already. That is amazing. Ah! Oh my god. Ooh, emeralds. Yeah, we gotta be careful dropping down like that because I forget you take a lot more damage without any armor. Okay, nice. We've got two furnaces smelting up now, so this should speed up the process a lot. Oh, we got a lot of iron. Let's start crafting up some armor. Nice. Okay, so now that we've got all of the iron we should hopefully need, let's just pick up these furnaces. And it is now night, so I think the next order of business is to get some food because we're already losing some hearts and we don't want to die. Ooh, come here, piggy. Goodbye, pig. Thank you. Oh, there's a sheep. Time to die, Mr. Sheeps. But let's just cook up some more food. And then what's the next step? We need to go to the nether, so we need a lava pool. Hmm, that's going to be hard to find. Oh, maybe we can find that place where that evil sheep was. That's oh my god, why are there so many pigs? Oh, that's a broken portal, one of the abandoned portals. Oh, that is perfect. Please say it has a lot of lava. Oh, that should be enough. I think it should be. What's he got in these? Oh, flint and steel, nice. No. 
please. No. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, I thought I just messed it up then. And flint and steel, flint and steel. Bam. Okay, let's go through quick. Let's get our shield up in case there's some ghasts. Okay, we're in. First time into the nether in this world. Please let there be a fortress nearby. I've got to watch out for this skeleton. <laughs> Goodbye, skeleton. Ah, this soul sand is not good for speedruns. And I say it's a speedrun, it's not really because I'm probably going to aim for doing it in under an hour. Ah, oh, come on. Fortress, please. Oh, this is quite a dangerous area here. Gotta be careful. Oh, I knew this bit was gonna slow me down so much. I can never find the fortresses. Oh, come on. I feel like it's gotta be around here somewhere. This feels like the place where they normally spawn. Is that it? <gasps> that is! That is one, isn't it? It's not Blackstone. Yes! Oh my god, finally. Come on, we gotta be quick. We don't wanna waste any more time because that's taken. Oh, a blaze spawner. Perfect. Oh, don't wanna hit you. That would be like instant death if I hit him. Okay, this should be enough to get over, I think. Okay, blaze spawner right there. Perfect, perfect. Don't know if this is going to be a bit dangerous, though, going in with just iron armor. No, so I'm going to have to be careful. We're just going to have to build across. Please don't hit me. Please, please. No. Oh, my God. Ah! That scared me. No, no, no. Please don't kill me. Okay, quick, jump across. Got to make, like, a little barrier or something. Are we safe under here? I think we are, because they can't see me. Okay, now we got to get all the blaze rods we... Ah! No! Stop setting me on fire, stupid blazes. Okay, we're killing them now. Ah! No, run, run, run. We got one, we got one, but we're dying, we're dying. Oh my god. This is too dangerous. Oh, another blaze rod. Nice, that's two. Come down. Yes, another one. I'm probably going to get eight or nine blaze rods, just to be sure. Is that enough? Is that all of them? Nine, 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 yes. Okay, uh, actually, one more, one more. And then we'll go. Yes, we got ten. Okay, let's leave the spawner. Quickly get out of here before we die. We use so much food with healing then. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. I almost died in one hit from them. Okay, hopefully this is enough gold to get started with the piglin. So let's just trap this guy over here. Get in the hole. Wait, where's he running? Oh, yeah, because they're scared of these guys, aren't they? <laughs> Ow! I forgot they actually do a lot of damage. Okay, come on, get in this hole. Get in it. Ah! Why is he so fast? Oh, my God, he's just running around in circles. <gasps> yes! Okay, we got him in. Throw a bunch of gold to him. And hopefully, he should start trading. Okay, nice, yes. Now we just need to collect a little bit more gold and wait to see what trades we get. Ooh! He's given some ender pearls, but where's he gone? Is he? I think he might have despawned. But anyway, so yeah. Oh, we got two ender pearls. Ah, this is so slow. Where? Where's another guy to trade with? Yes! Oh my God! Fourteen ender pearls. Perfect. Okay, that is all the ender pearls we need now. So we can just get rid of this stupid guy here. And now we need to find a way back to the portal. Oh, I think it's right around here. Oh yes, yes. Okay, there's our portal. Let's be quick. Oh my god, a gas just spawned inside our portal. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> okay, nice. Well, let's get through the portal, and then we've got to find the stronghold. Ah, it feels good to be back in the overworld. Okay, which way are we going? That way. Also, actually, let's make a bow while we're waiting. Oh wait, <laughs> that's not how mate. How you make a bow? There we go. Okay, let's go this way a few thousand blocks and hopefully we can get to the stronghold. Come on, please. Say we're close. Which way did it go? Oh, that way I think. Okay, it's back in the opposite direction now. That's good, we're getting close then. Okay, please go down. Where did it go? Yeah, I think it went into the ground, like right here. So quick, let's dig down, and hopefully it should be down here. Oh, here it is. Yes. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Let's find the find the portal room. Oh, I hear the I hear the little silverfish guys. There's a, oh my god, we found it already. Want we'll get rid of these stupid silverfish? Ah, just set me on fire. What the hell? Okay, get rid of the spawner. Put the eyes in. Bam, and let's go through. Oh, we made it. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Get onto the main island before we get knocked off by the dragon. And the battle begins. We got. I've never done this, like, trying to be really quick. 
Nice, we got that one. Yes, yes, we got another one. Oh, I hit the dragon, but not the thing. Ah, keep missing. Nice. Okay, we got that one. How, don't know how many arrows. We only got 17 left, so we've got to make them count. Yes. Please don't look at any endermen, because they're going to kill me so fast if I look at them. Nice. How many more? And there's one up there. Can we get it? Yes. Then we got it. Is this the last one? Yes. Yes, they're all gone. Now it's just me versus the dragon. We just need to wait for him to land now, and then we can kill him. Come on, land, stupid dragon. Oh my god, our sword is almost broken. We might have to switch to using the axe. Okay, don't look at the enderman. Don't look at the enderman. Why can I not reach it? Oh, nice damage, nice damage. Yes. Oh, we did it. We did a lot of damage there. Come on, we can do it. I don't know what time the time is on, but I'm sure it's terrible. Come on, land. Land again, please. Yes, come on. Come on, Enderman, you attack him as well. Nice. Big damage. Oh, more than halfway. Ah! Oh my god, please. Oh my god, that is literally the exact same way I died in my last world. I did not want that to happen again. Yes. Yes, yeah, smack all the Enderman away. Good job, and now time to die. Ow! Oh. oh my god. Don't dragon breath me, you stupid dragon. Come on, if it lands one more time, we can get it. Ah, we just need to not die before then. Oh, we hit it. Ah, oh, it's trying to fireball me. Come on, land one more time. Yes! Please, don't whack me away. Get rid of all this stupid enderman. We just need to get around it here. And whack it a few times. Wait, where's his head gone? Nice, come on! Yes! Oh, that was so slow, but... At least we did it. At least we didn't die. Oh, and there's our gateway, so we can get an elytra. Okay, actually, let's get this egg while we're here. Let's get this torch, because we... Nope. Are you kidding me? It just went in the void. Thank you. And now, actually, I want to get myself an elytra, but our inventory's a bit messy. So let's head back home, and then we'll come all the way back to the end to get our elytra. Okay, and we're back, so let's just quickly empty out all this stuff that we don't need. So now I need to prepare some stuff so we can actually go and get the elytra. And I think one of the main things we'll need is to make some rockets. And we actually don't have any sugarcane at the moment, so we're going to have to go and try and find some. Oh, there's some down there, actually. Okay, let's just start planting this around the place a bit, because obviously three sugar canes are not going to be enough. It's actually looking like it's going to take quite a while to find all the sugar canes, so let's just get this boat and have a little explore down this river. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see some more over there. Nice. Ooh, oh my god, there's so much. Ooh, and it looks like there's actually a village over here. Oh my god, and there's so much sugarcane as well. Let's just get all this sugarcane, and then we can go and explore that village, actually. Let's have a quick look around the place. Where are all the villages? I swear they better be in their houses, because it's night. Oh, there's one guy here. Oh, yeah, there's two of them. Nice. No, zombie, get away from the villagers. No, creeper. Ah! Oh my god, that was close. Villager, get inside. I rang the bloody bell. Uh, what are you doing? Just shut up and get in, get in your house. Yeah, talking to you. <laughs> Why is he not moving? Okay, anyway, I think I got a bit distracted by this village. But it looks like we should have enough sugar cane to make some rockets. So let's head back to base. Oh, well, nice. We made it back. And now it's time to craft up our rockets, so let's make this into paper, and bam! There we go, stack and a half of rockets, hopefully that's enough, it should be, once I get my elytra, it should be enough to get back. But now let's just get the rest of our inventory ready, and then we can head back towards the end. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to use this eye, because I literally have no idea where the stronghold is from my base. So let's just throw it, and see, yeah it is that way, okay. Well anyway, let's head towards this direction, and hopefully we should find the stronghold again. One eternity later. Oh my god, yes, finally we found it. Okay, let's just put some water, and then we can float all the way down to the stronghold, and then we just need to find the portal room again. Should be right here, yes, nice. Okay, let's hop on through, and make our way over to this gateway. Oh, no! Oh my god, no, no, no. No! Oh my god, oh my god, no, please. I just killed the ender dragon, do not kill me, Enderman. Oh my god, no. Just die! 
Oh my god, I think that's the closest I've been to death in ages. Okay, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, let's get up to this gateway, and then hopefully we should be able to use our water to get through it. Yeah, there we go, just get our water back, and then we can go through into the end island. Oh, okay, we made it. I need to be careful not to look at any more endermen, because that was not good. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any end islands near here. Actually, let's just get some of these. I don't know what you use these for. I know they just teleport you, but I don't even know if there's any point in having them. So let's just keep going this way, and hopefully we'll come across an end city. Oh my god, I do not like building across these void gaps. This is probably scarier than fighting the ender dragon. Don't mind me, Enderman, just passing on through to go and raid one of your cities. Oh, we found one. Please have a ship, please. Ah, oh, no, I think it's just a small one. But that's a good sign that we found one already. But it is quite far away, so hopefully we have enough blocks to get to it. And nice. Yeah, it definitely doesn't have a ship, but we can still get the shulkers and stuff from it. Why is he just shooting his friend? Ah! Did we get a shulker shell? No, he didn't. Oh my god, who invented this? these stairs? They're literally so annoying. Oh no, this is one of the rooms where you can easily die. Oh no. <laughs> this is probably not a good idea. I just need to float up to the surface. I need to float up to this bit here. Quick! I'm gonna eat this golden apple. Ah! Oh no, I'm at the, I'm at the roof! Get my water out just in case. Nice. There's a few chests down here. Maybe we can get some diamond armor and stuff. I don't know how I'm going to beat these because I, sh I should have brought a bow. I'm so stupid. Oh, diamond stuff. Nice. Oh my god, we've got a diamond chest plate and diamond leggings already. I think I should probably put that on quick because I'm dying pretty quickly. Okay, I think I'm actually just going to leave all these shulkers because I don't think it's worth it. Because I think I might die if I try and kill them. So I think we need to head that way. That is not a good way to head. Yeah, we'll just go around that way and then we can link up there. Ah, oh, I don't want to risk jumping down with my water though. But I don't want to go back through there. Okay, we're going to do it. Please, don't die. Yes. Nice. Oh, another one. Does that, that is a big one. It's got to have a ship. Is that a ship? Ah. Oh. oh my god, that is massive. It has to have a ship. Oh, yes! Come on, let's build in. Get rid of this shulker quickly. Nice. See what's in these chests? Oh, a ton of gold. Nice. Beetroot seeds. That's like the worst thing you can get from these. And, oh, that's decent. But I think this chest plate's better. Yeah, protection three. But let's take these wings. And nice. Yay. Oh my god, our light armor looks so weird. None of it matches. But yes, we got an elytra. Let's go test it out. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Woo. Yes. We've got to be careful not to crash back into the end city, though. Okay, let's just get... Oh my god, that would have been bad if I dropped down there. Ah, what are you doing up here? Oh my god. No. This is not good. But at least we've got an elytra now. Oh my god, I'm so high. Why did he just randomly teleport up to, up to me? Okay, I want to get a few shulker shells. And then we can head back home. Oh, nice, we got one. Oh my god, there's so many in here. Stop teleporting away. Oh, diamonds. Oh, and I'm gonna... A little bit. It would help if I could speak. I'm a helmet. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh, nice. Another shell. Nice. Yes, we got more. one more shell. Perfect. Okay, let's quickly equip our elytra back on. And then I think our portal that we came through should be back this way somewhere. Ah, uh, nice. There it is. Let's just fly on back through. Nope. Oh, I said. And um, let's just fly on back through. Nope. Oh my god. I said. And let's just fly on back through. Nope. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? And let's just fly on back through. Yeah, first try, nice. Yay, we're back home. Hello, parrot number one and parrot number two. I am back. Okay, anyway, let's just quickly empty our inventory again. Okay, so now that we've got ourselves our wings, I think I'm going to have a little bit of fun with them and make a little flying course around our area. So let's just grab some wood and head outside and start making the course. But we've got to be careful though because our elytra doesn't really have much durability. Okay, so I'm thinking we get this course to go through the valley. That would be pretty cool. Okay, let's just craft up everything we should hopefully need. So up here I'm going to make a little starting platform. 
nothing special but just a place to start the course from and i think the next one we're gonna have is gonna be on that tree down there okay let's just build it up perfect that's the first circle done and over here is going to be the next one perfect and then i think we'll go up there down there and then back through the valley Okay, I'm going to have a few that actually come up from the wall as well. That'll be pretty cool coming from all the way down there and sweeping down into this valley here. And let's just do a few more over there and then we can finish it up around our base. And there we go, the last one's finished. So our course is now finished and it starts from this hill up here. It does a little turn around in this jungle section. Goes through the valley and over the water. Under this tree and then around over to the badlands. Okay, so let's have a trip on up to the start of the course. It's not too long of a course, but there are some pretty sharp turns and stuff, so it might be quite difficult. But this is my first attempt, and let's see how we do. And hopefully we don't die, because it's pre pretty dangerous. <gasps> oh my god, I ducked my head in real life. Ah! No, that's not good. Oh, we're going to have to do a spin here. Ah! No. This is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Oh, nice under the tree round this corner here through oh no i keep hitting the edges no ah oh, that was not very good let's try again okay let's give it another try hopefully we don't die oh my god through here oh we missed that one. Oh, i'm just gonna start again because i missed okay third time's the charm oh can we do it let's go ow <laughs> that was not a good start uh fourth time's the charm i guess ow stop whacking into stuff okay ready three two one go <gasps> oh made it through there do that one nice oh this could be good down over the water yes oh my god i thought i was gonna die then ow <gasps> that was close i almost died through here yes we did hit stuff but we did make it all the way through all of the hoops hmm i think we should give it one more try okay come on i want to be able to do it flawlessly without hitting any of the hoops okay one last try ready three two one go Ooh, okay come on we can do it through here perfect around the corner nice up here perfect through this one nice oh my god this is so good come on please yes 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 wide corner here through this one through this one and come on please yes oh my god yes finally we did a perfect run that was so satisfying oh there's another pirate here hello pirate oh let's try and tame him quickly okay let's get some seeds where are seeds oh yes we've got 18 come here mr blue pirate oh my god you're a greedy pirate yes finally oh my god i thought we weren't gonna be able to tame him then oh yeah we got another pirate on our shoulder Yay. Okay, let's bring you back over to your other friends in here. And we can sit you around the campfire as well. Let's come on here. Oh, he sat down himself. Yay, we got another little friend. And we actually do have two name tags here, but I'm not quite sure what to call them. So leave your suggestions of what I should name these guys down in the comments below. And I'll pick my favourite and name them in the next episode. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in episode three. See you later. How can I kill over a thousand mobs in one second? Watch to the end of the video to find out. So the plan is to create a massive mob farm which spawns in tons of mobs. Then we're going to collect all of the mobs into a tiny area and kill them within a single second. But you might be thinking to yourself, gamers, how are you going to stop all of the mobs from despawning? Well, I've got a plan for that and it involves a village. Okay, yes, here it is. This is the nearest village to our base. So for this plan to work, we need to get a village trader set up. So that means trapping a few of these guys. So let's dig a little hole in their town centre. That should be about big enough. And then, now we need to go and find some of them and push them back into the hole. Where do you think you're going, little villager? Come on, we're going this way. Oh my god, this is going to be so annoying. Come on, yes. No! What are you doing? Oh my god. Well, I'll see you back in a few minutes after some torture trying to get these guys into the hole. One eternity later. So eventually we got ourselves two villagers in the hole and realistically we don't really need any more than that because we can always breed up some more over in the place where we're making the trader. Okay, so now we just need to find a place where we actually want to build our villager trading hall. Oh yeah, and also by the way my elytra broke so we're gonna have to try and fix that at some point.
Okay, yeah, I think right here looks good. So let's just clear it out and then we can start building it. Okay, this looks good enough for now. It's not really much, but we just need to get the villagers from over there and then into here. And then we can start breeding them, I think. But how are we even going to get the villagers all the way over here? Okay, so I've had an idea. It's probably not going to be the fastest way to do it. But we can make a bridge all the way over to there and then get the villagers on a boat and then we can sail them all the way over to here. Okay, well, we're basically here now. So we just need to make a staircase down into the little pen and hopefully they should just run up here onto it. If this doesn't work, then this has been a, such a big waste of time. Wait, could they, will they just jump off that onto the ground? I hope they won't. If they do, then I'm stupid. Okay, which one of you guys wants to come with me first? Oh, it looks like he wants to come. Come on, come up here. What are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> up the thing, jump up, yes. Good, yes, yes, yes. Why are you all going now? Okay. Stop pumping that. <laughs> okay, now one of you guys, the second guy can go away. You go up, yes. No! This might not work. <laughs> this might not work at all. What the hell? So if I put one of these down, will they come up here? Put it there. Come on. Yes. So now break this and then put it here. And then he's coming. Yes. And, oh my god, finally, that took like 10 years. Uh, but now we need to get some food. Oh, we've actually got some bread here. So hopefully, just throw this to these guys. And then they should breed. Start making a baby. Oh, are they going to do it? Are you going to do it? Oh, sorry, I need to look away. Okay, let's look at the wall for a bit. We're not meant to see this. And then hopefully when we turn around, there should be a baby. Is there a baby? Yes! Yay, little baby. Okay, well, let's give these guys a bit more time to be able to breed again. And then hopefully we should be able to fill this place up full of villagers. Okay, so now we've bred up all the villagers we hopefully should need. But actually, remember my elytra broke, so I need to head back to my base and fix that. Okay, yeah, and we're back. Hello, little birdies. How are you doing? Okay, so what we're going to need to repair our elytra is some phantom membranes and an anvil. Do we have enough iron? I think this should be enough. There we go. And then just do this. Perfect. And then in our last episode, I think we got a bunch of diamonds from the end. So we can just use these to craft up some diamond tools. I think waiting for these phantoms to spawn is going to take quite a while. So why don't we make use of our new diamond tools and go and collect some resources? Because we're going to need a bunch more stuff if we want to make a massive villager trading hall. Um... What? <laughs> well, that was weird. Okay, hopefully we've got all of the resources we should need to build the villager trader. But now it is night time and I think phantoms should spawn. So let's just wait and see if they spawn. Uh, phantoms? Where are you, phantoms? I swear it's meant to be like five nights that you don't sleep and then phantoms spawn. Why are there no phantoms? Mr. Zombie, have you seen any phantoms? No? Ow! Oh my god. Does it have to be midnight? I think... Oh wait, yeah, I think they spawn at midnight. So when the moon is directly above me, which isn't too long from now, hopefully they should spawn, I think. Oh, it's getting close. It's getting close. They should spawn any second now. Phantoms? No? No phantoms? Great. Oh my god, yes! Okay, finally we got some phantoms to spawn. Okay, yes, they're coming after me. Ow! Okay, if we can get away from these stupid blue spiders and actually focus on the phantoms. Okay, we got some hits in, we got some hits in. Oh my god, there's so many mobs following me. No! Oh yes, we can- What the hell? It didn't drop anything. Please let one of these guys drop. I'm not waiting another night. Okay, come here, phantoms. Yes! Yes, yes, we got one! Yes! Oh my god, are you kidding me? We only got one. And we got some more phantoms. Hopefully they give me more membrane this time. Oh, yes, we got another one. We're going to die. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Heal. Okay, there's one more phantom. We've got no food, so we got to be careful. Should we risk it? Oh, there's two more. What the hell? Oh, I don't think we can risk it. But we got two membranes, so that should be enough to go and repair our elytra. Okay, we finally made it back. It's time to see how much this will actually repair our elytra. Hopefully a lot. 
that'll do at least. Okay, we gotta repair the lightra now. So let's quickly make some more armor. And now let's head over and start building ourselves our villager trader. And there we go, we got our fully finished villager trader set up. But now it's time to get the villagers in, so let's just quickly do that. So now that we've got all these librarians in this side, we're going to get a bunch of fletchers over here. And the reason we're going to get them is so we can trade sticks for emeralds. And there we go, we've got all of the villagers that we should hopefully need to trade for these name tags. So let's just quickly get rid of this mess. But I think at the moment I've had enough of these guys for today. So let's get to work on the next part of the plan. And that involves building ourselves a massive mob farm. So let's just head back to base and clean up our inventory a bit. And then we can start collecting the materials that we'll need for the mob farm. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need is some redstone resources. And yeah, I think we are running a bit low on redstone. So let's head back over into this cave that we found in the last episode. And hopefully if we go deep enough, there should be some redstone that we can get. Oh my god, I forgot how deep this cave is. Is there redstone at the very bottom? I'm not sure. I think we might have to go like up to that sort of level and then hopefully we can find some. Oh yeah, there's some. I bet it's just going to be one in it. Yep. Here's some more. There we go. Try not to fall in the lava. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly check this entire cave for redstone and collect all of it that I can find. There we go. Hopefully that's all the redstone we should need. But next we need to head over into the nether to get some nether quartz. There we go. Here's our portal from last episode. So let's just head on through. And yeah, we just need some of this stuff right here to make some observers and some comparators. Okay, nice, we got ourselves 61 quartz, that definitely should be enough. But now we just need to find the portal. Where's the portal? Oh wait, there it is. Okay, nice. Okay, let's head on back through and then we need to get to work on collecting our next resource. Okay, so the next main thing we need to get for this mob farm is some hoppers. And obviously they require a ton of iron. So I was thinking maybe we can go back over to our villages and kill the iron golems that they've spawned. Okay, yeah, there's a few iron golems in here. How high up do you have to be? Is this high enough where they won't hit me? I'll go one higher up just in case. If I die to these iron golems, I will not be very happy. Where are you going, you stupid iron golems? Okay, come on, please don't kill me. Yes, it doesn't seem to be able to hit me. Oh, okay, nice, we've got a few iron there. Okay, nice, let's see how much iron we get. Oh, we actually got a decent amount from that. But yeah, I definitely don't think that's enough for all of the hoppers that we're going to need. So in total, we're going to need 25 hoppers. So how much more iron are we going to need to get? So that makes seven hoppers. So we need... So we need, so 25 minus 7 is 23. So then... Wait, what? What did I just say? We need 18 more hoppers. So 18 times 5 is definitely not using a calculator. 90. Okay, we need, <laughs> we need 90 more iron. Actually, instead of going down into that cave again, let's go check the top of this mountain. Because if you watched the last episode, you saw that I found a bunch of iron up here. So hopefully there's some that I missed. And I think I remember, yeah, there's like a little crevice here that has... Oh yeah, it does have some iron. Okay, nice. We got ourselves eight iron, only 82 more to go. This is going to take a while. Oh, this cave actually goes down quite deep. Is there like a proper big cave down here? Oh, there is. Oh, there's a mob spawner. Let's see what have we got in the chest. Oh, yes, diamond horse armor. And the rest of this is terrible. Oh, other than a little bit of iron. I feel like I'm definitely going to get lost down here. And great, another dead end. Oh my god, this goes so deep. Oh, an emerald. How are you doing, little zombie? Time to die. Okay, we found a proper cavey sort of thing. It does have quite a few mobs in it, though, so we've got to be careful. Uh oh. Oh my god, they're all just coming out of the shadows. What the hell? What the hell? Why are there so many mobs? Oh my god, oh my god. Let me in the wall. Oh my god. What's hitting me? What's hitting me? What the, what the hell? 
How was I just getting hit through the wall? Okay, well, this isn't very good. There's like a thousand mobs all below me. If I drop a torch down there, will it like light them all up? Yeah, it does. Ow, what the hell? Go away, spider. Oh, the skeleton just killed the spider. Oh no, there's creepers as well. We do need string for dispensers, so if you can kill all these, that'll be good. Ow! <gasps> okay, there's a bunch of string down there. We can get it all about blowing a creeper up. That'll be good. Oh, nice. We got the creeper dead. Why are there like 50,000 zombies? What the hell? Get off my string, zombie. Give that back. Better not be a creeper just hiding around the corner. Okay, nice. Oh, we're so close. We only need one more iron. Oh, yes. Okay, nice. We've got all of the iron that we should need now. But we are a bit lost, so we just need to try and find our way back to the surface. And there we go. Finally back to the surface. But where are we? Wait, actually, I think our base is just over this way. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's just get this iron all smelted up. And after a bit of crafting, we should hopefully have everything that we need. Now all we need to do is find a good place to build it. Okay, I think I found the perfect place to build it in this Badlands biome. And our base isn't actually too far away. It's just over there out of render distance. So let's get this cleared out a little bit and then we can get to building it. And there we go, we finally got our fully finished mob farm. So let's get down from this AFK spot up here and flick this lever. Hopefully it should work. Yeah, we can hear all the water being dispensed. And then if we fly down to the bottom, loads of mobs should start. Oh my God. Oh my God, look how many mobs. Did you see how many mobs just fell out of that? How much stuff are we getting? Yeah, these signs and stuff are just from when I was building it. But just from that little tiny second... We've already got all of that stuff. Oh my god, this mob farm is so overpowered. Okay, well, now that we know it works, I'm probably going to go AFK at the top for an hour and see how much stuff we get in these chests down here. Oh my god, I'm so excited to see how much we get. Okay, so we've been AFK for about an hour and a half. Let's go down and check if the mob farm has worked. So let's head on down to the bottom and see how many drops we have gotten. Oh my god, look at this guy, what the hell? Let's see, is it full? What the hell? That one's full. Oh my god! Look how much stuff there is, and all of these are full as well. Okay, anyway, so now that we've got a fully working mob farm, it's time to head back over to our villages and start trading for some name tags. And I don't know if I explained this already, but the reason we're getting the name tags is to stop all of the mobs from despawning. Okay, so we're back over here with our villagers, and the main thing that I'm going to be trading to get emeralds is sticks. So I've grabbed myself a bunch of bones, so we can just go over here and plant these jungle saplings and bone meal them up. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, that was weird. Okay, so bone meal these, and then we get a bunch of wood that we can trade for sticks. So let's just get to work getting a bunch of sticks and trading, and eventually we should be able to get all the name tags we need. Oh my god, about like five or six, I don't even want to know, five or six hours of trading, I finally got all of the name tags that I'll need. It's just a stupid amount. Why did I decide to do this video? Look at my level from trading, level 111. Okay, anyway, so now that we actually have all the name tags finally, we need to go and change all of these name tags and rename them so that we can actually put them on the mob, stop them from despawning. Okay, so now we're back at the base, we need to think of a name to rename all of the name tags. And that name's gonna be what all of the mobs are called when we murder them. Hmm, what name should we choose? I think that works pretty well. There we go, so that's one stack done, so now we've just got to do all of the rest of them. And there we go, finally all of the name tags are renamed to Lockdown Life. But the one last thing we need to do is at our mob farm, we need to make a contraption underneath it where we can house all of the mobs. Okay, so the first part of building the contraption under here involves having a blast chamber where we can have all of the mobs. So we need to head over into the end to grab a bunch of obsidian. 
And I think I remember the end is over this way somewhere. Well, nice to think this is it. Yeah. And then let's head on through into the end and start the long, boring task of mining away at this obsidian. And... There we go. Why is everything taking so long in this project? So let's just head back to our base and then let's head under here and then block off. Ah! Oh my God. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. That was very scary. Okay, we need to block this off so no more mobs can come through like that. And we need to create a safe place for the mobs to be captured and then push down into the obsidian chamber. Okay, so finally we've got the whole system set up. So basically how it works, what the hell just happened? <laughs> well, anyway, so basically how it works is the mobs drop down from the farm into this section here. Then they go along this water bit here. And then I'm sitting here with the name tags and name them as they float past. And then they get pushed down. What the hell's going on? Okay, anyway, so the mobs will float down on into this obsidian chamber. Then we head up to this top bit here and pull the lever and tons of TNT is dispensed. And hopefully that should be enough to kill them all within one go. But this is the first time I've ever tested this idea. So I really hope it works. Okay, it's now all full up with TNT. So it's time to let the mobs go. So let's just quickly come down here and break this without dying. Come on, please don't let a creeper fall on me. Okay, break all this. Get out quick. Oh my god. Oh my god. We need to turn the farm on and then it's time for the mobs to start falling. Okay, it's on, it's on. Let's get into our position. Okay, here we go. Get some name tags. Oh my god, I can hear so many mobs. Okay, start naming them. Ah! Oh my god, I forgot about baby zombies. Go away, you stupid baby zombies! Oh, oh my god. What the hell just happened? That did not sound good. Okay, so we did get some mobs in there. Ow! What the hell? Yeah, so if we want to despawn the non-named mobs, we can just fly really far away and then fly back and they should have all despawned. So, let's give it another go quickly. Oh my god, it's actually working sort of. Oh, there's loads coming now. Come on, will it work again? Yes, it's actually working so well. Oh my god. Okay, so I've been sat here for quite a while now, but I haven't looked over there yet. And I can already tell it is really laggy. Let's have a little quick look. Oh my god. <laughs> it's actually working way better than I thought it would. Okay, so if we press F3 facing that direction, we can see that so far we have about 250 mobs trapped in this little area. That is actually mad. But we've still got a long way to go before all of the mobs that we want are in there. So let's just stand back here again for another two years and name all of the mobs that come past. Two thousand years later. Okay, so finally I've used up basically all of the name tags. And if you can tell when I look over here, oh my god, my FPS is so bad. If we press F3, there is over 1,500 entities. And if you can't tell, my render distance is on the lowest possible because otherwise it was way too laggy. Also, I've made this little bridge thing so we can get up to the top of where all the mobs are without them spotting me. And oh my god, what the hell even is that? Okay, please don't spot me. If they spot me, then skeletons start shooting me and all the mobs blow up. Okay, walk along this bridge down here. And oh my god, I pray this works. This is taking so long. Okay, ready? Three, two, one go oh my god my game's frozen did it work <laughs> oh my god they're all gone this is what the hell how do these baby zombies survive oh my god all that's left is a sign and some rotten flesh most of the structures in Minecraft are really boring, especially shipwrecks. So in today's video, I'm going to be transforming this boring pile of wood into a massive pirate ship. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually find ourselves a shipwreck. And I don't even think there's any oceans around here, so it might be quite hard to find one. Hopefully if we just follow this river, it should bring us to an ocean. Oh, we didn't find a shipwreck, but we found an ocean monument. This is the first one I've seen in the world so far. Oh my god. No! No! Oh my god. I forgot how dangerous these guys are. Okay, yeah, let's stay away from that and actually try and find a shipwreck. Ooh, is this what I think it is? Yes! 
This is actually a big shipwreck as well. But I think it will be a lot easier for us to see what the shipwreck looks like if it's up on the surface. And there we go. Okay, so we finally got ourselves the fully finished shipwreck up on the top of the water. But uh, as you can see, it is very bland. Like, it's literally just all jungle wood and then a bit of spruce. So I think it's time for us to collect some resources and restore this shipwreck to its former glory. So we all know that any good ship has to have sails. And I think I've decided to make my sails out of these guys. Well, not actually out of the sheep, but out of their wool. So let's make ourselves a little pen that we can fit some sheeps inside. Oh yeah, and uh, ignore the fact that I accidentally made way too many gates. Okay, so we've got our pen. So let's just go and grab some wheat. There we go. And now we just need to find some little fluffy sheep like these guys down here to put into our pen. But I think you guys might be a little bit far away. So... Okay, we can get this grey sheep and then we can always just re-dye the wool later on. Come on, Mr. Sheep. Come on, it's not that bad, sheep. You're only trapped in this little pen for the rest of your life. Okay, we found our next prison, I mean, uh, resident. <laughs> and then these guys can have some alone time. Okay, so time to keep breeding these sheeps. Sheeps? That's not even right, is it? Sheep. Okay, time to keep breeding these sheeps over and over again until we get enough wool for some massive sales. Actually, while we're waiting for our sheep to be able to breed, we need to collect a bunch of oak wood and a bunch of dark oak. Okay, so it's been a little while now. I've managed to get all of the wood we should hopefully need. But now all that's left is to make these sheep naked. That sounds a bit weird. But yeah, we've got to shear all these sheep to get all their wool. And then hopefully we should have all the resources we need to refurbish the shipwreck. But yeah, as you can see, the ship is really basic. Like, it doesn't even have one of those, like, little wheelie things there. But yeah, I think it's time that we change this ship from this washed out jungle wood. And also give it a few extra features as well. So finally, we've got a fully upgraded shipwreck. And the main things I've done is changed all of the wood types. And I even added some new features, obviously like the sails. And I even added a little steering wheel up here. But to be honest, it's still a pretty small ship. And I think that we could make it way bigger. But obviously, making a bigger ship is going to require a ton more resources. So let's head back to base and start working on that. So the main resource that we're going to need to make the ship even bigger is obviously wood. But I don't really fancy collecting it all by hand again. So I thought, why not make a massive new wood factory? So I've just been on YouTube and I've found the perfect wood farm that we can make. But it does require a ton of resources. So let's get collecting. Wait. This plan's not going to work at all. I just realised for this farm we need honey blocks and slime blocks. And we don't have a farm for either of them. Well, back to YouTube we go. Okay, so after a bit more searching, I think I'll find a wood farm that will actually work. So, let's get building. So now, if we just grab ourselves a hoe and get a few saplings and some bone meal and then come under here and flick this lever hopefully yes so you just sit here holding right click and then whenever a tree grows it pushes the wood to the side and then if we get a big line of trees like this and plant one more sapling hopefully it should work yes so now all these trees have been pushed forward by one, we can grow a bunch more and they'll all line up here again. And then after a while of AFKing, we get a massive chunk of wood just like this. And then obviously it's just as easy as getting our axe out and then just going along and mining it all up. But I think the one thing in this process that slows me down is the fact that I've still got an unenchanted axe. And to be honest, all of my tools are still unenchanted. So I think we should fix that. Okay, so we're back over at our villager trader and hopefully... Yes, okay, we have efficiency 5, but I want unbreaking and mending as well. So let's just see if these guys have them. Unbreaking 1, don't really want that. No, no, no. 
Oh, sharpness five. That's pretty good. Okay, so the only enchantment that we actually have that's good is this efficiency five. So I guess we better just start breaking some lecterns and placing them back down until we get the trades that we want. Oh my god. Like the second try, I got him breaking three on this guy. Now all that's left to get is mending. But this one always seems to be the hardest to get. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Finally, we got it. That took like 100 goes or something stupid like that. Okay, let's lock this guy back into his box and then lock in all of their trades. Oh, last one. And there we go. So now we just got to get these onto our tools. Great. Oh, oh my God. Um, well, that was close. Okay, finally we got all of our tools enchanted. But most importantly, we got our axe enchanted. And that means we can do this. So now that we've got all of the basic resources we'll need to build the ship, like wood and wool, I think it's time that we get some special items to decorate the ship. And the first thing that I have in mind is a pillager banner. But as you might be able to tell, I've still got iron armor. And I think if it stays that way, the pillagers might get the better of me. So I thought it was time for an upgrade. Okay, so we need to be on the lookout for pillagers or a pillager outpost. And I haven't found a single pillager outpost in this whole world. So hopefully we can get lucky. Ooh. Oh, wait, that's a cow. <laughs> I thought that cow was a pillager. Oh, we found another village, but no pillagers. Oh, also, I'll take this spell because we could use that on our ship, actually. Ooh, oh, my God. This is like a fully filled in shipwreck. Wait, is this the one that I found in my very first episode? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, my shipwreck looks better than this anyway, so not that cool. Ooh, a desert temple. I swear I'm finding every single structure other than the one I want. Ooh, let's steal this TNT. It might be useful later. Okay, do you think we're going to get good loot in these chests? No, 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 no. Great. Oh, we did get a golden apple, though. So I will take that. Oh, my God. We found another temple. Will it have better loot this time? No. no. Come on, Iron Golem. You must have seen some pillages, right? Oh, my God. Yes. Okay, now we just got to kill these annoying guys. Oh, I haven't even seen these guys yet. They're a laser. They've got trapped in the cages. Go on, guys. You can go free. Ah, what the hell? Ooh, there's the banner guy. Think you can kill me? Yes. Nice. We got the banner. Okay, so let's just climb up there and get a few more banners. Oh, goat horn as well. <laughs> okay, nice. So we got everything we came for. So let's get out of here before these guys keep shooting me. Do you mind? Hmm, now we just need to get home. And we are pretty far away. But I think it is that way. So let's go. Oh my god. Oh no. I just accidentally started a raid. I'm sorry, villagers. Come on, Iron Golem. We can do this. I'm going in. Yes. That was so easy. What the hell? They're coming from up there. Oh no, there's the axe guys. They are very deadly. We've got to be careful. Oh my god. No. Oh my god, <laughs> this is not going well. There's got to be one more somewhere. Oh, there he is. Nice. Oh my god, there's a Ravager. Okay, charge. Come on, Iron Golem, we can do it. Yes. Come on, Iron Golem. I'll hit him back. You get him. Nice, yes. Okay, we just got this Ravager. Come on, Iron Golem. Yes, we got him. <laughs> yes. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> They're all ringing the bell. Oh, over there. Oh, no. Witches. I forgot about witches. Okay, these guys are deadly. Ow. Ow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. How did we survive? Okay, we've got to be more careful. Nice. <laughs> They're all... It's so funny when the villagers ring the bell. Oh, I hear the horn. Where are they coming from? Oh, over there. Oh, my God. These guys are so strong. Can I hit it from here? Oh, my God. There's creepers. Ah! Oh my god! Run! Come here, Ravager. Think you're all tough. Ah, what the hell? How can you hit me from there? Yes, okay, we got him, we got him. This has got to be the last wave. Oh my god. That is a lot of stuff. I'm going in here, I don't care. Oh no, this is a bad idea. No, we need to eat, we need to eat. Oh my god, I'm stuck in it. Yes, yeah, just get the pillagers to kill the Ravager. Yes! <laughs> nice job. Ow! Come on, we need to kill those wizardy guys. <laughs> Come on, Evokers, die. What the hell is he doing? What? 
Why have they all got their arms in the air? Oh my god, was I defeated? So after all that, I lost anyway. Great. So finally we made it back over to our ship and obviously we're going to be building a much bigger one soon. But I'm not quite sure if we should demolish this one or just build the bigger one next to it. Hmm, actually, I think I've got a better idea. Yeah, this is definitely a good idea. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! Get away! Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? That worked way better than I thought it would. Oh my god, we even killed loads of fish. Well, now that that's out of the way, I think it's time to start building. And there we go, our massive pirate ship is finally finished. Well, actually, you might be thinking to yourself, it doesn't really look very detailed. So I think we should head back to our base and gather up all of the extra resources we'll need to make this ship look extra piratey, if that's even a word. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is go around and collect up loads of red flowers, because I think the sails being fully white looks a bit boring. And now we can just come over to our sheep and dye a bunch of them red. Okay, so the next resource I'm trying to find is a bunch of sand. And you'll see why I need this later. Oh, and nice, we've just found ourselves a little mini desert. Oh, and actually, you, my friend, will be the perfect addition. Okay, let's hope it's not a greedy pirate. Yes, nice, we got another pirate friend. <laughs> oh yeah, and we also can't forget about these banners that we got from the pillagers and also this bell that we got. Okay, nice. So we've made it back to the ship with a bunch of resources that will help us make the ship look a lot better. The first thing that I want to add is a little desert island that can be next to our pirate ship. There we go. So here's the little island. And now I'm going to add a few little palm trees. Okay, next let's add our banners in. And also let's put our bell up here. Oh yeah, and we can't forget about our new little pirate friend. So, you can just sit in here. So, all of these additions to the ship have definitely made it look a lot better. But I think we can definitely still improve on it. So, let's do that now. I wonder what is the fastest way to get iron? No. Nope. Definitely not. Wait a minute, I think I've just had a much better idea. So the plan is to trap a bunch of villagers inside a giant factory. And then I'm going to force them to produce me unlimited iron. And hopefully by the end of this video, we'll never run out of iron ever again. So the first thing we need to do is clear out this massive area. Perfect. So now that we've got this massive open space, let's just collect some wool from our sheep and start laying out the outline of where our factory is going to go. Oh my god, this factory is going to be giant. <laughs> Maybe I've made a mistake making it way too big. But anyway, now I think it's time to actually start building it. Hello, Mr. Parrots. Okay, so the first resource we need is bricks and hope... Well, that's not going to be enough clay. Hmm, what is the best way to get tons and tons of clay? Ow. <laughs> oh, actually, I've just had an idea. So in the recent 1.19 update, they added a block called mud. And I think you can actually somehow use this new block to farm clay. Okay, so I think the way that the new block works is we put down some dirt and then throw this at it. Yes. So then we can grab this mud block and put it on top of some stone. And I think we just put this here and then water should start dripping off that. Yes, perfect. Okay, and then I think we just wait and that should turn into clay. Oh my god, yes. Okay, finally, it eventually turned into clay. Well, I guess we better start making ourselves a clay farm. So we're going to need a bunch of sand, some of these little dripstone-y things, and we do also need iron, and luckily, we have a bunch in here. So finally, we should hopefully have everything we'll need to build this farm. So let's get building. And now I think all we need to do is stand here and hold right click. And yes, okay, so that gets converted into mud. So we keep pressing this for a bit. Hopefully one more. And yes, perfect. Oh, go away, spider. So let's just fill this whole section up with mud. 
Oh, there we go. And yes, you can already see it's working. Loads of the mud is starting to turn back into clay. So now if we just stand here for a few minutes, it should all turn into clay. Yeah, this way of getting clay is definitely way better than swimming around and collecting it from the ocean. So now that we've got this farm set up, let's run it through a few times. And then we finally should be able to start constructing our factory. Oh, wait, I forgot that you actually have to smelt the clay before it turns into bricks. Hmm, but smelting them all like this is going to take ages. That's more like it. Okay, so now that we've finally got all of our bricks melted up, let's actually start building. So we've made a decent amount of progress on our factory so far, but you might be noticing that the windows actually have no glass. And that's because I want a specific type. The glass that I want to get is actually black stained glass. And the problem with that is that I have no black dye, but there are two different ways to get it. So the first way to get black dye is to create and capture a wither boss and then force it to infinitely kill Enderman. Or the other way is to kill a few squids. Hmm, actually, maybe the first option's a bit more exciting. So that means we need to head to the nether. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do in the nether is find ourselves a nether fortress. And we have found one before, but I have no idea where it is. Ooh, yes. Okay, yeah, we should probably equip our chest plate. And then we've just got to kill a few of these guys. And hopefully they'll give me their heads. Yes! What the hell? What the hell just happened? We killed like two wither skeletons right next to each other and both of them dropped me a skull. What are the chances of that? Well gamers, I'm glad you asked. So the chance of a wither skeleton dropping its head is 2.5%. And to get two of them in a row only happens every three out of a thousand tries. So you're a very lucky guy. Oh, uh, thanks voice in my head. Anyway, let's get ourselves our final skull. Yes! Okay, nice. Now we've got all three skulls. So if you're wondering how getting a wither is actually going to get us black dye, it's because we're going to make a fully automatic wither rose farm. But to do that, we still need one more thing. Ooh, yes. Okay, so we found ourselves a mushroom island with a bunch of these guys on it. So I'm sorry, little cows. Wait, what? I thought these guys give you the red mushrooms. Hmm. Hey, okay, wait, hopefully there'll be some red mushrooms just on the floor. Okay, yes, nice. Thank you. So now I think we should hopefully have everything we need to make the wither rose farm. So let's head to the end. Okay, so to make this farm, we actually have to head through this portal towards the end islands. And now we just need to find ourselves another one of these guys. So hopefully we don't have to go too far to find it. Okay, yes, perfect. So now we just grab ourselves some dirt and pillar up to it. Okay, so I saw this on YouTube. Hopefully it works. I think if we bone meal this, something should happen to the portal. Oh, did it work? Yes. So as you can see, the portal is now gone. So it means we can use this bedrock to trap the wither inside. But first, we've got to get lucky and get a little baby chicken inside there. So will we do it with 16 eggs? Let's see. Yes. Hello, little chicken. Oh, I kind of feel bad for the little chicken. He's just going to be trapped in there for the rest of his life on his own. Anyway, now that we've got our little chicken friend trapped inside here, let's get to work on building the rest of the farm. Okay, so most of the farm is finished now, and our little chicken friend's grown up now, so all that's left to do is place ourselves in our wither. Oh my god, this could go very wrong. Let's just hope it doesn't. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, we've got to come up here, place water there. Come on, is it going to work? Blow up? Yes! Okay, remove the water, and then remove this block, and then run away, and hopefully... That should be it. Okay, we gotta go up to the top of the farm to check if it's working. Okay, so we just AFK up here. And so those little guys go like that. Yes, perfect. So all those endermen run into the hole in the middle. Oh my god, there's so many. And the reason they all run into the hole is because up there we have a little endermite that for some reason they're all angry at. And I don't, why is this guy not running at it? Go. <laughs> and if we look down there, yes, all the endermen are dying. Okay, the moment of truth. Is it actually giving us wither roses? Yes! Oh my god, yes, it's working so well. It's working perfectly. The little wither is trapped there forever. Oh my god, those explosions are so annoying. <laughs> That's better. But you might be noticing that there's a bunch of endermen spawning down here instead of in the farm. And to fix that, we've got to spawn proof this entire area. 
Perfect. So now hopefully no Enderman should spawn anywhere near our farm. Well, I guess these guys are spawning now, but when we're up at the top, none should spawn down there. So let's head up to our platform and AFK for 30 minutes and see how many drops we get. Okay, let's head down and see how many Wither Roses we got. Okay, let's see. What? What the hell? Oh my god. Both of these chests are full of Wither Roses. Well, I don't think we're going to run out of them anytime soon. So now that we've got ourselves a massive supply of black dye, we can finally make some more progress on our factory. been able to complete all of the walls of our factory but we still don't have a roof but that's because i want to lay out all of our iron farms before building the roof hey mr creeper what the hell do you think you're doing in here yeah i think before we do anything else we should probably light this up so now that everything's nicely lit up, the next thing to do is to build our actual iron farms. And I think I'll probably build one in each of these little sections here. So that means three times the iron. So I've just been looking up some iron farm tutorials, and I think I found a really compact iron farm, which should hopefully be able to fit in this little section here. So the iron farm I'm making is actually really simple. All we need is a little bit of wood from our wood farm, a few stacks of cobblestone, and then finally, we need a few redstone resources, which I believe my parrot has got for me. Thank you very much, Mr. Parrot. And now all that's left is to build them. Okay, nice. I managed to get all of the farms to fit in. And basically how these really compact iron farms work is you get three villagers in this little bit here and then a zombie on this. And then if you put a redstone torch there, the zombie goes up and down. And then the villagers get a little bit scared. So they try and spawn an iron golem and it spawns up here and then it dies in the lava. And then we can just collect up all of the iron golem's precious iron. But now that the iron farms are set up, let's head back over to our villager trader. Um, what? We had two spare villagers in here to breed and something must have killed them. Hmm, I guess we'll just have to steal some of these guys. Do you want to become a breeding villager? That's a bit of a weird question, actually. Anyway, let's get them. Okay, these two guys down they will do hopefully they won't escape but there's only one way to find out let's release the villagers oh he's going come on come as well what are you doing stop just standing there go on villager go 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 yes good job villager where's the other guy hello <laughs> villager i think this villager might be brain dead what the hell are you doing come to your little workstation yes good villager and then keep coming this way keep coming this way oh come on yes Okay, let's block them in quickly. Yes, mission successful. Okay, so let's make ourselves some bread, put down some moody lighting, and give these two some alone time. Anyway, while they're busy doing whatever they're doing, we should probably think of a way to sort the items dropped by the iron golems, because they drop roses and iron. And there we go. So at the moment, we've just got a bunch of chests with hoppers going into them. But we want to sort out that iron from the poppies. But if we come round to the back of the hoppers and place some blocks just like this, and then add in a few redstone components, we should have ourselves a working auto sorter. And I think then we just shove a bunch of items in here like that. And let's see, will it work? Oh, it stopped at 41. And then redstone should be down here. Yes, perfect. So now I think if we throw any random item onto here, yeah, it shouldn't be picked up. If we just do the same thing for all of these, perfect. So we've got our sorting system done, but how are the items going to get all the way from over here all the way to here? Hmm. So my idea is to make a massive system of pipes that go all around the factory, and eventually they'll end up back in the storage system. I want to make our pipes out of glass, so that means we're going to need a ton of sand. Oh, perfect. We found ourselves this nice little desert. Goodbye, little desert. So now hopefully we've got all the sand we need, and now we just have to wait for it to all be turned into glass. So now that we've got all of the materials for our pipes, we need to figure out a way to get the items out of that hopper. Hopefully something like this should work. So if an item gets collected by these hoppers, it will go into here and yes, perfect. It will be dispensed down into our pipes. Great, so now that we've got that figured out, we can actually start constructing the system to transport the items around. And there we go, our pipe system around our factory is finally finished. So if we just build up here, 
and put a few items into our dropper. As you can see, they get dispensed and then down into our pipe. They go all the way along here in the water streams and then hopefully, yes, they get shot up to the top there. So then they get shot up here and then down through this pipe and then the pipe from the other farm joins up here and then they go all the way along here and down into the sorting system. And hopefully this should be filling up with redstone. Yeah, perfect. So now that we've got all of our farms connected up to our storage system, I think it's time for us to get our villages in. Nice, so most of our villages are grown up except from that one little guy there. But now we just need to get them all the way over to our factory. But I think the best way for us to do it is to just set up a little path like this made out of dirt. But I don't actually have any rails, so we're just gonna have to try and use a boat. So now that we've got the path going all the way over to our factory, it's time to get one of these guys inside the boat. But that's definitely easier said than done. So if we make a little pathway down to them like that, I think if we place this here... Oh, is he coming? Yes! Good villager. Then we can just block that off so no more villagers can come up. And this is the guy we're going to get. So let's break that. No, where are you going? Oh my god, what the hell? Okay, let's try that again. Okay, get in the boat. Nice. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so now it's just the simple task of rowing all the way over to our factory without falling off this one wide strip. And actually, let's get the other villagers before we let this guy out of his boat. Because he'll probably just run somewhere random. Nice. This definitely didn't take me an entire day. And uh, it looks like the zombies are quite keen to get at these villages. But you guys will come into it a bit later. So now it should be just as easy as breaking this dirt and then breaking their boats, I think. They're going? Yes, go, go, go. And yes. Okay, those guys are now all sealed in. Okay, now all that we've got to do is do that exact same thing on both of the other ones. Wow, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> And there we go, finally, all sets of villagers are in all of the farms. Wow, that was so fun. But the worst part is, the farms still won't even work. Because we need to get ourselves some zombies in there too. But before we do that, I think we should probably clean up this massive mess of dirt. Okay, it's night time. Let's see if we can get ourselves some zombies. No, we don't need you, creeper. Let's get this guy, let's get this guy. Come on, Mr. Zombie. Hey, okay, up and over the pie. You can do it, zombie. Yes. Okay, then how do we get him in there? Probably should have thought of this before having a zombie chasing me. Ow! Uh, are you alright, zombie? <laughs> what are you doing? Ow! Come here, zombie. Then you stay in there. Yes! Now we give him this little name tag and he shouldn't despawn. Ah, oh, and it's daytime now. Great. Yes, night time again. Okay, let's get ourselves some more zombies. Okay, come on. Yes, that's one. And yes, there's two. Now all we should need to do is place ourselves in some redstone torches. And iron golems should start to spawn. Hmm, still no iron golems are spawning. But I think the farms might actually take a while to get up and running. So in the meantime, I think we should fix this. Because we can't really be having a grass floor in a massive factory. And we should also probably put a roof on our factory too. we have ourselves a fully finished iron factory filled with cranes iron golem workers and three iron farms but for some reason our iron farms still aren't working and i think i figured out why i think the reason our factory isn't working is because for some reason i built it right next to a village and i think that means that the iron farms don't actually work so i guess there's only one way to fix that okay ready three two one go Let's see, is the iron farm working? Yes! Wow, this is an unbelievable amount of iron. We all know that the highest you can build to in Minecraft is Y level 320. However, you can actually go much higher. But what is the limit? 10,000, 100,000, or even a million? Well, in this video, we're gonna find out. So the first method I've thought of for flying as high as we can is by using a flying machine. And for that, we need ourselves some slime. And there it is. So now I think we break this block and then it should work. So let's see. Oh, yes. Okay, we got to get on top of it. Oh, this is going to be quite hard landing. Oh my God. Okay, let's try again. Come on. Let me on top of it. 
Yes. Okay, now we're on top of it. So we should just be able to wait here. And then we should go infinitely up into the sky. Um, why have we stopped? Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's a bit stupid. I forgot that the blocks wouldn't be able to go past the build limit. Yeah, so the maximum height you can reach with a flying machine is actually the build limit, which is 320. Hmm, so that didn't work, but I've just had another idea. So what if we get a bunch of TNT and light it all at our feet, and then it should explode us up into the air? And yeah, I know that sounds quite dangerous, but I think it should work. So let's grab ourselves some gunpowder, and then I think this red sand will work. Okay, let's get our chest plate on, so hopefully we don't instantly die. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh my god. Oh, it worked! Wait, get our elytra quick! Oh my god. I don't even see how high we went, but uh, it sort of worked. And yeah, luckily none of this got blown up because of the water we had under that fence. But I think there's actually a way to improve this without having to refill it ourselves with TNT every time. Now, if we just fill up all of these dispensers with more TNT. So we should just be able to press this button and be launched up into the sky. Okay, three, two, one, go. Let's check how high we go. Oh my God. Get to the water. Oh my God. Well, we didn't even go that high. We only went like 120 blocks. Hmm, what if we got ourselves a bunch of TNT and a bunch of dispensers? And then hopefully that will dispense enough TNT to make us fly really high up into the sky. But the first thing we need for that is a bunch of sand. And I don't really fancy mining it all by hand the entire time. But I think I found a pretty good solution. So we just have to come over to the stronghold and clear out a massive area around the portal. Now what we need to do is somehow get rid of these portal frames. And yeah, obviously you can't break them with a pickaxe. But I think if we put some dirt here and then a mushroom and bone meal it. Yes, and now if we break this, those portal frames are now gone. There we go, we've got ourselves a fully frameless portal. And now that we've got this whole area prepared, we just need to collect ourselves some resources to actually build our sand making device. So the first thing we need is some more slime. And yeah, we probably should make a slime farm at some point. No, get away creeper. Hey zombie, give me back my slime ball. Stop stealing them! And now we should have everything we need to make our redstone contraption. Through the hole. Ow, what the hell? Through this hole. Okay, anyway, let's head back to our end portal and start setting up our redstone. Okay, we've got this whole section fully set up now, so I think we just flick this lever and it should start working if i'm honest i have no idea what it's doing but i think it's working right so let's just turn that off because that's annoying and now we just need to build the same thing on all of the other sides yes the contraption is complete and i still don't know what it does but there's still a few more things we need to add before it's fully operational and yeah i probably should turn this off because it's so annoying so the next thing we need to make is a chunk loader and making one of these actually makes use of a nether portal now we just put ourselves in some little redstone bits like a hopper and a dispenser and some other stuff i have no idea what any of it does then we flick this lever and it makes a minecart that stays there is that meant to do that i don't know <laughs> And then we just put the minecart back there, right there, and it, oh, now we go back through into the nether, and then the minecart's here. Wait, what the hell? Oh, and then we put fire here, and here like that, and then put one on here, and bam, it should be fully working. Yes? Yes! And now this is endlessly loading all of the chunks around our redstone contraption. So that's everything done in the overworld, but now we actually have to make a collection system for the sand in the end. And just like that, we've got our sand collection system fully ready to go. So I think we just need to turn on our chunk loader and then come up here and place the sand on this slime. And hopefully once we run around and turn on all these levers, everything should be working. Uh, 
Well, um, I have no idea what happened there, but <laughs> let's just try again and hopefully it doesn't all break. Oh, and this time it looks like they're actually all working. So now if we head into the end, yes, sand is being shot out of our face and into the hoppers. <laughs> oh my God, this looks so weird. And then we just come down to our storage system and we should be getting ourselves infinite sand. Yes, now we should be able to make all the TNT we'll ever need to shoot ourselves up into the sky. So let's head back to the overworld and start building our new TNT cannon. And there we go, Mark 2 of our TNT cannon is now finished. And this one should be three times more powerful than the old one we made. Okay, it's all fully full. And yeah, we definitely have to make sure we put our chest plate on. Because just one set of dispensers almost killed us last time. So, uh, hopefully this doesn't kill me. So, let's just press this button and then jump on top of the iron bar. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, put our elytra on. Oh my god. We were on two hearts. But we didn't get a new record. Um, so I was just doing a bit of testing on our TNT cannon. And yeah, I don't think it's meant to do that. <laughs> One hour later. Okay, so it's a little while later now and I've managed to fully rebuild our TNT cannon. And I've also added a few extra bits which should make us go even higher. So let's just flick this lever and give our TNT cannon another try. Hopefully it works. Oh my god! How high are we going? We went like 700 blocks! Oh my god. And let's put our elytra on because otherwise we will definitely die from this height. And safely glide back down to the ground. Oh my god, that worked way better than the last one. But can we go even higher? So it's a little while later and if we turn around, our TNT cannon is now doubled again. And yeah, this probably is a bit stupid because we could easily die if this goes wrong. But it's worth it for our mission to Y level a million. So let's make sure we're all armoured up and uh, once again flick the lever. And hopefully we go even higher this time. Ah, what the hell? Oh my god! <laughs> 1,640! Oh my god, and now we just endlessly fall back down. And yeah, we should probably put our elytra on. Hmm, we've got a bit of a problem. We've got our nice giant factory, and then our lovely little villager trader, and then our TNT cannon just has like a massive pile of redstone. So I think we're gonna have to try and find a way to cover this up. But I think I've got the perfect idea. So the first thing we need is a few different bits of dye. Oh my god, so we made this wither rose farm last episode and it seems like the wither's blown it up and now it's trying to kill me. Um, this is not good. Can we just sneak in and get some black dye, please, Mr. Wither? There we go. And now if we just sneak here, we, we can we hit him? Okay, wait, let's get some blocks. Okay, we got the black dye, but we can't really just have the loose wither. So let's try and get some blocks so we can kill it. Okay, now we fly back in underneath the wither without him noticing. And then, yes, we can just sneak here and hit it from underneath. And hopefully it doesn't just see us. No, wither. <laughs> and I guess even though our wither rose farm is broken, we still get a beacon out of this. So that's pretty good. And there we go. Goodbye, Wither. Now, if we just use these dyes to make ourselves some different colored concrete, we can just replace this sand with some of our concrete powder. And then this machine should hopefully give us all of the concrete we'll ever need. So let's just turn it on. Oh, look at that. It's working. And after about 40 minutes or so, we should have ourselves, yes, tons of concrete. This will be perfect for the build we need to do. But I thought before we do any more building, we should probably get ourselves netherite armor. And oh my god, I almost died from that. But yeah, before we make our TNT can any stronger, we definitely need netherite armor because it's actually better at protecting against explosions, I think. So let's quickly craft up a bunch of TNT and speedrun getting netherite armor. So let's just dig down to Y level 15 and start placing some TNT. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Ah, run, run, run. And did we get any ancient debris? Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Now all we need to do is do a few more explosions and we should have all the ancient debris that we need. And bam, there we go, we got ourselves full netherite. Now if we expand our TNT cannon even more, we should easily be able to survive. But now it's time to start building the thing that's going to be surrounding the cannon.
Oh my god. Oh my god. 5,000 blocks. Oh my god. It looks like we're in space. Well, that worked way better than the last one. And <laughs> we're still 4,000 blocks in the air. And we're still falling. And here comes the ground again. Oh my god. We went quite far to the side as well. And we can just sweep down back in front of our rocket. But even with our giant rocket and TNT cannon, we didn't even get 1% of the way to a million blocks. So I think we're going to have to come up with a new method that doesn't use TNT. And I think we should use this thing right here. And uh, no, I don't mean my bum. But if we want to use our elytra to fly as high as possible, we're obviously going to need a ton more rockets. And they have two components, sugar cane and gunpowder. But as you can see, our massive mob farm only has two chests and it's getting clogged up with all of this random stuff that we don't yeah. need. So to make sure we never run out of gunpowder ever again, we can make ourselves an automated sorting system. So to do that, we just put some hoppers like this with some redstone going in a circle. And then it goes into these hoppers and into these chests. And then basically we put whatever item we want to be sorted into the chests in here. And then hopefully this should stop at 41. Yes, perfect. And all of that gunpowder should be going down into these chests. So let's just hook it up with all of these hoppers and see if it actually works. So stuff should be coming through. So is string being sorted? Yes, nice. And then hopefully once all of these hoppers are unclogged, we'll be able to run our mob bomb for way longer and get all of the gunpowder we'll need to fly to Y level a million. So the next part of rockets is sugarcane. And at the moment, I've just been harvesting and planting it all by hand. But obviously, we're going to need way more than a few stacks. So I think it's time we make ourselves a giant sugarcane farm. And I think I'll make it right over here next to our mob farm so we can get gunpowder and sugarcane at the same time. Wait, can you even plant sugarcane on red sand? Oh, you can, but uh, it looks all brown. What the hell? So obviously, to make this farm, we're going to need a bunch of resources and once again we're gonna need some more slime we definitely need a slime farm now we just need a few other things like some rails and oh we actually do need some minecarts as well i swear it's meant to give you a minecart and a chest what the hell And there we go, finally we've got ourselves a fully working giant sugarcane farm. And basically this farm works by using this giant flying machine. And every time a sugarcane grows, it gets hit off by the slime blocks and lands on the ground like that. And then if we come down here, we have a bunch of minecart hoppers. If we press this lever, they all go back and forth and collect all the items on the ground. And then the minecarts deposit the items down here and they should come into this chest. So I'll just stay awake for a bit longer to fill up the entire thing with sugarcane. And then we can AFK overnight and see how much sugar cane and gunpowder we get okay so it's the next day and let's go down and see how much sugar cane and gunpowder we actually got okay first let's check the gunpowder <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god, it's still coming in as well. Okay, that's definitely enough gunpowder. And I actually added loads of chests to this one because the farm's actually quite fast. And oh my god, what the hell? Yeah, I don't think we're going to run out of sugar cane anytime soon. So now that we've basically got an infinite supply of rockets, we can use our fully repaired elytra to see how high we can actually go. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. And now we basically just sit here and click this button for ages. Okay, we've made it past a thousand blocks, but we've still got a while to go before we get to our record. And we're already almost through our first stack of rockets. And how much is our elytra on? Yeah, I think we're definitely going to break our record with this method. Oh, and we've gone so high that everything's gone dark now. That's a bit weird. And we're about halfway to our record. Oh, and it looks like we're getting so high up that we're going into space. But that's actually just because it's turning to night. Oh, and we're quite near our record now. If we get to 6,000, then we're definitely past it. And yes, we've got a new record. And we've only used two and a half stacks of rockets. And our elytra still has loads left to go. It just looks like we're endlessly flying through space. Oh my god, this is so weird. Oh, and what the hell? That's a bit weird. Suddenly, our totem and our rockets have gone bright again. And we're on 8,500 blocks now. Oh, my God. Oh, we're getting close to 10,000. Come on. And yes, 10,000 blocks. That means we're 1% of the way to a million. Oh, we're almost at 20,000 blocks. And it's becoming daytime. And there we go, 20,000 blocks. What is our elytra on now? Oh, it's about halfway gone. We might even be able to get to 50,000 blocks with one elytra. Oh, my God. Okay, we're at 46,000 blocks in the air, and we're actually running quite low on rockets. But also, our elytra is almost broken. Can we get to 50,000 blocks before our elytra breaks? It's only got 15 durability. Oh, it's going to be close. 500 more blocks. Come on. Almost there. 100 blocks. 
No! Oh my god! Our lights are broken. We are 50 blocks away from 50,000. Oh my god. Well, at least that's a new record. And now I guess we just have to fall all the way back down. And then when we hit the ground, obviously we're going to use our totem. Oh, and any second now we should see the ground. There's the clouds. And oh wait, we don't need, we might not even have to use our totem. <laughs> oh my god. That is definitely the highest I've ever been. Okay, so our elytra is all repaired again. But now that we've seen how high we can go with one elytra, let's see how high we could go if we had multiple of them. And also we could make ourselves flight duration three rockets. And this means we need three times less rockets to go the same distance. And also if you're wondering what the thing in the top left is, I've installed myself something called mini HUD, which means it's way easier to see our Y level. Okay, so let's head on through into the end and over to the end islands to find ourselves some more elytras. Okay, so the first challenge is we need to find ourselves our first end city. Because I think once you find the first one, it's way easier to find more. What the hell is that? Um, why is it just one purple blob? What the hell is that? Oh my god, what is that? Wait, we've just flown back towards the main end. What the hell is this little purple thing down here? Um, what the hell is that? <laughs> um, well, I have no idea what that is. But I guess, yeah, let's go back towards the end islands again. Oh, yes, there's our first end city. But it's not a very good city. It's literally just one building. But the trick is to come to the end city and then I think... And then face west. And then you just keep going west from there. And you should find more end cities quite quickly. Um, end cities, where are you? Come on, I feel like there's going to be one right here. Ready? Three, two, one, and end city. Oh, we found one. Come on, it's got to have a ship. What the hell? It doesn't even have one. Okay, well, I don't really care about anything else that's in it. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're finding them quite quick now. Oh, oh, my God. Three in a row. Does that one have a ship? Come on. No. Great. Oh, yes. Okay, nice. We found ourselves our first ship and our first extra elytra. Excuse me, Mr. Shulker. I'll take that. And, oh, some diamonds. Oh, yes. And our second ship. There we go, elytra number two. Ah, we're floating. Go away, little floaty balls. And there we go, we managed to get ourselves 10 elytras, including the one we're wearing. And we even got 32 diamonds as well. But now we just need to find ourselves an end gateway and get back to enchant all of these elytras. Okay, so we need ourselves 10 unbreaking three books. And it looks like we're going to need some more emeralds. Now we just need to put all of the enchantments onto the elytras. And there we go, we've got all of our fully enchanted elytras. So I've calculated that we'll need probably only about six elytras for this many rockets. So that means we're fully ready for our next flight. Okay, three, two, one, and let's go. Oh, <laughs> let's try that again. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Yes, there we go. Goodbye, ground. I'm not going to be seeing you for a while. And let's just stare up endlessly into the sky above us. We're going to be flying for quite a while. Oh, we're almost on 50,000. Ah, yes. Yes, that's a new record. Made it to 50,000 and we're still on our first elytra. And we've got tons more rockets still. Oh, and our first elytra broke, so we've got to quickly swap that and get back to flying. Oh, we're getting close to our last rockets. Only 20 more to go. We're almost 125 blocks up in the air. But yeah, we're still nowhere near a million. Okay, 10 more. The last one. And we reached 125,700 and something. And now we just fall all the way back to the ground. That took so long to fly all the way but we still need to figure out a way to go even higher and we can't just use more rockets and elytras because we literally used up every slot in our inventory and obviously we can't place down shulkers or anything while we're flying in the sky mm, so while we're falling i'll have to try and think of a new method to fly even higher oh yes we're finally almost there we can see the clouds wait can we land in water again come on is there any water anywhere near no ah oh, our totem's getting used Oh, wait, we could, we could have just deployed our elytra. Uh, that was a bit stupid. Okay, so I've been doing a bit of research, and I've actually found a way to go even higher. And to do it, we need to slow down time. And basically, if we do slow down time, our rockets and our elytra will last even longer. But to do it, we need to create an insane lag machine. So say hello to the lag machine 3000 or something like that. I haven't really come up with a good name for it. But basically, this machine spawns in tons of boats in this water. And then because of all those entities being in the exact same place, it lags the world but you might be thinking surely that will lower my fps to unplayable levels 
There we go, we built ourselves another chunk loader. So basically, this chunk loader will load all of the boat entities. And they'll even stay loaded if I fly far away. So basically, that gets rid of the FPS lag, but the time slowdown lag still stays. So now all we need to do is fill up all of these chests with tons and tons of boats. So we should probably head over to our wood farm. And there we go. All of the chests are now fully full with boats. Oh my god, that took a while. But now it's finally time to turn this machine on. So let's put the chunk loader on and start flicking these levers. And oh my god, look how many boats there are. Okay, well, let's step away from that for a minute because it's pretty annoying. And we can just wait here until all of the boats have been dispensed. Oh, and you can tell time's already getting slow because of how slow they're getting dispensed now. Let's try and see how long a flight duration one rocket lasts. <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell? We literally got above the clouds with one rocket and we weren't even going straight up. And yeah, we're still getting 140 FPS even with all of those boats in the world. Okay, and there we go, all of the boats are fully dispensed. So let's just quickly test how far one rocket goes this time. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, we got to Y level 320 and we weren't even going straight up. And this is flat duration 1, remember? Oh yeah, I forgot that the lag machine makes chunks take ages to load. So at the moment, we just have a hole in the side of our world. So it's going to take a while until we can even get into our base. There we go, finally our base is actually loaded in. So let's just craft up a bunch more rockets and get our inventory ready for our third and final flight. Okay, our inventory is fully ready to fly. So let's say goodbye to the ground and we might as well just start flying. Oh, what the hell? Why does that happen every time? Okay, let's try that again. Oh, and yes, it's working. How far does one rocket get us? Oh my god, this is still one rocket. One rocket got us to Y level 600. And actually, I can just go AFK because I've got an auto clicker firing the rockets for me. All I need to do is change between the stacks of rockets. Okay, we've almost finished our first stack of rockets. And we're already almost on 25,000 blocks. And let's see how our Elytra's doing. Yeah, our Elytra is barely gone. And we've been flying for like 15, 20 minutes as well. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be flying for quite a while. Oh, we're about to beat our record of 125,000 blocks. And I think we got to 700 as well. And there we go. And we've only used five stacks of rockets. And we've still got loads of Elytra left. Okay, we're at 986,000 blocks, but we've only got a stack and a half of rockets left and 57 durability on our last elytra. Oh my god, this is going to be way closer than I thought it was going to be. Come on, please let us make it. We're so close. Okay, we're only 4,000 blocks away from a million, and I'm actually really curious to see what happens. Like, will we just be able to keep on going infinitely high, or will there be a barrier once we get to a million? Well, either way, we're going to find out soon, because hopefully we still have enough rockets to go the last few thousand blocks. Oh, only 2,000 more. 400, 300, 200, and... Why level a million? And oh my god, we just keep on going. Oh my god, I never thought I'd ever actually reach Y level a million. But somehow we managed to do it. Hmm, but you can keep on going higher and higher. Um, so it turns out you can actually fly to Y level 4 billion. And that means we'd have to AFK on our PC for 4.6 years. And uh, I don't really fancy doing that. Anyway, while I spend the next 10 hours falling back down to earth, watch this video next. I recreated Tilted Towers from Fortnite in Minecraft Hardcore. This task of Building every single detail from Tilted took over six months of my life. And this is how it all started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to drop into Tilted to see how big it actually is. But first we need to get looted up so we don't die. Okay, well we can start mapping out the edge of Tilted. And hopefully we don't get killed while we're doing it. So we've mapped out all of this bit. And we've still got so much more to do. Ooh. Um, okay, let's try that again. I then spent the next few hours repeatedly dying in Tilted, but surprisingly, I actually managed to get a few kills. And finally, after quite a few attempts, we managed to map out all of Tilted. As soon as I got back into my hardcore world, I got a bit carried away and straight away decided to build the clock tower from Tilted. And you'll see why that was a bit stupid in a bit. But anyway, while I was building, I decided on a scale of every Fortnite floor being 9x9 nine nine Minecraft blocks. And every wall being 6 blocks tall. That means when our build is finally done, it will take up over a hundred thousand blocks and a lot of that floor space is taken up by roads but we should be able to get all of the black concrete we need from our concrete duping machine yeah i don't think we're going to run out of concrete powder anytime soon and then all we need to do is harden all of our concrete in this concrete converter 
But actually, before we can place down any of our concrete, we kind of need to blow this clock tower up. Uh, that should be enough. Okay, three, two, one, go. So the reason we just did this is because Tilted Towers actually goes down in a part of it. So instead of having to dig out a massive area, I think we should just build the base level of Tilted up in the sky. Once I'd found myself a good height, I spent the next 20 minutes mapping out the perimeter of our first road. And I had to be exact, because at the end of this video, I'm going to be surprising my brother Lockdown with the finished build. And because Tilted is his favourite Fortnite location, we have to add every single detail, otherwise he won't be impressed. Anyway, back to the road. And finally, there we go. Okay, we've got the outline of this one road done and this one section of road is 243 blocks by 18 that means it's going to take way over 4,000 blocks just to fill this one road so i guess we better start placing um well that didn't get us very far that little bit of concrete is literally an entire shulker box worth so uh, i think we're gonna have to find a new way to get our concrete so obviously when tnt explodes you keep all of the blocks that get blown up. So what if we make a machine that every time we place some concrete powder, a piston pushes it in front of water and it gets hardened, and then once enough concrete powder has been pushed through, it gets blown up by some TNT, and then somehow we can collect the blocks. But well, obviously doing it this exact way isn't going to work very well. So we've built the collection system for where our hardened concrete is going to go. But now we actually have to build the bit that hardens it and blows it up. Hmm, now this is going to be the confusing bit. So first we need some obsidian here. Then we need some repeaters here. And some more repeaters. Oh, and you'll never guess what. More repeaters. Wow. And finally, we've got some chests. Ah, uh, got you. You thought I was going to say repeaters again. Okay, anyway, there we go. It's finally finished. So now we just grab all of the black concrete powder we can from our duper and fill up all of these chests up here and now we just fill our inventory up all the way apart from one slot and flick this lever and hopefully it should be working um that doesn't sound good um okay i think i might have done something wrong i think i fixed the problem so let's try that again let's have a look yes yes it's working nice so now we can just stand here in afk and get all of the concrete we need but before i could put any of it to use i had to jump back into tilted towers and spend hours counting out every single road tile and if i made any mistakes the entire shape of tilted would be completely wrong so let's hope i got it right So after hours of measuring and building, we finally have ourselves a bunch of black rectangles. No, but these aren't just any rectangles. This is the exact layout of the roads and tilted towers. But at the moment, I think I've had enough of building floors and roads. So why don't we give our little clock tower here a friend next to it? And if you've played Fortnite before, you'll know that it's this blue building right here. We've just got to get to the blue building and run around it so we can see what it actually looks like. Okay, come on, please get a good gun. What the hell is this? I got a bush. <laughs> okay, there's someone in it. This is what the front looks looks like so we can use our clay farm to get loads of bricks for the sides and then because there's actually no blue wood in minecraft we can just use blue concrete for the front and back but i think we need to try and kill this guy before he kills us hello anybody home no oh my oh my god i'm so bad okay so we know where the build goes we know what it looks like now all that's left to do is to collect the right materials so let's get a bunch of clay from our clay farm and a bunch of blue concrete from our duper <laughs> no oh my god this looks so weird so i guess let's just start building and while I'm building this, I want you guys to comment down below, what is your favourite season of Fortnite? I'd say my favourite season of Fortnite is probably the one where they had planes and it was like the Christmas update. Okay, anyway, there's the bottom level of the house done. And oh my god, look how small I am compared to the doors. Okay, there we go. Our second building is finally complete. And oh my god, this is looking so cool. I can't wait to see Lockdown's reaction when the entire thing is finished. But now the next thing we need to do is to address the fact that these buildings are floating in the middle of nowhere. So we actually need to build the paths that connect them to the road and for that we're gonna need a ton of stone and we only have three left so let's find ourselves a nice little cave and i'm gonna set a timer for half an hour and let's see how much cobblestone we can get surprisingly in half an hour we managed to get almost two full shulkers of cobble but before we can even place any of our cobble down here we need to smelt it all into smooth stone slabs and while we're waiting for all of this to smelt up we can actually hop into one of my fortnite replays so now we can fly around and map out tilted without constantly getting killed and that came in handy because i spent the next three hours counting every single path square in all of tilted and it definitely 
definitely wasn't fun. But now we have this grid layout with every single path that we need to build. Now all we need to do is to craft all of these up into slabs and then get our grid up and figure out where we actually need to place these down. For every single one of these red dots, we have to build one of these 9x9 platforms. Oh my god, this is gonna take absolutely ages. And it took even longer than I was expecting, because placing slabs is so annoying. But at least I was entertained by seeing the zombies chasing me around. So, uh, we just ran out of these stone slabs, but I did manage to get all of this entire area done. But it's probably not even a fifth of the entire thing that we need to do. So, we're gonna need a bunch more stone. But I kinda don't feel like mining it all out by hand again. So, we need to to find a way to automatically get a ton of cobblestone. Okay, so I found this really good tutorial by Shulkercraft, so let's quickly build it and see if it works. And there we go, our farm is finally finished. And uh, I'm not sure if it's meant to be on fire, but anyway, let's just flick this lever and click this button and it should start working. Please don't blow up. And I think that's good. Oh, yes. Yes, cobblestone is coming into these chests. And yes, I think the farm is fully working. And let's just say the farm worked way better than I was expecting. What? No, that can't be right. <laughs> oh, my God. Every single chest, apart from this one, is full. And obviously, that one's going to be very full. How much is there? Oh, what the hell? And bam, there we go. So if we just put all of our cobble into those chests, five hours later, we've got all of the smooth stone we should need. This is gonna take a while. Okay, and finally, after hours and hours of placing, we finally built all of the paths for Tilted Towers. And oh my god, this is actually starting to look so cool. But you might be wondering what all these random gaps is, and that's actually where all of the buildings are gonna go. So yeah, there's quite a lot of them for us to do. So I've put all the buildings onto this wheel, and I'm gonna spin it to see which one we're gonna build first. Oh, and we've landed on office. Uh, I'm not even sure which building that is. So let's have a quick look. Oh my god. And of course, it's one of the biggest buildings in all of Tilted. And the main resource I think we'll need for this is birch. But I've just discovered that our tree farm doesn't work with birch saplings. Uh, great. So I guess we're gonna have to try and find a birch forest and mine it all out by hand. I think that should be enough. Now we just need some clay for some bricks and some quartz from the nether. Go away, Mr. Pig. And now we should hopefully have everything we need to get to work on our next building. And this building was definitely the one I struggled with most. But I think it came out looking pretty good. And oh my god, this is starting to look so cool. But this one took quite a while, so hopefully we get a smaller one next. And it's... Garage. Building this one was quite tedious, but once we filled in the roads, it wasn't actually that bad. And I think it came out looking quite similar to Fortnite. And oh my god, it makes this wandering trader look so tiny. But I did just spin the wheel again, and we have a bit of a problem. So on the wheel, the next building I landed on is one that goes here, and that is the basketball court. But if you look at the buildings in Fortnite, the brick colour is actually more brown compared to the normal brick red. So I think there's only one option for us to build with, and that is the new mud bricks. Well, they're not really that new anymore but shush <laughs> so let's head off and try and find ourselves a way to get loads of mud i think the way to go is to a mangrove swamp Ooh, i can sense it mangrove swamp any second now and an ice leak yay oh yes okay so i think yeah if we come down here there should be tons of mud okay now just dig a bunch of this up oh my god why does it sound so weird yeah. Let's spend a few minutes digging up a bunch of this and see how many mud bricks we actually can get. But when I got back, I realized you also need wheat to craft mud bricks. So because I didn't really fancy farming, I decided to build this really small wheat farm. So now we can just fill up these chests with a bunch of bone meal and then just flick the machine on. <laughs> oh my God, it's so loud. Then we just come here, I think, and hold left click with some seeds. And then yes, we should get loads and loads of wheat until the bone meal runs out. Then after doing that, all we need to do is grab our wheat in a bunch of mud and and then we can craft it into the mud bricks. And bam, there we go. But anyway, now I think it's time to get building some more of Tilted Towers. And of course, we put our new mud bricks to good use by building the basketball court. And this definitely came out as being my favorite build so far, especially with these little basketball hoops. 
because we've got so many buildings to get done, I didn't waste any time and I spun the wheel and got straight into our next build. And for some reason, this one's called Fish. So if you know why, comment that down below. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, please consider subscribing because we're so close to my dream of 100,000 subscribers. Okay, finally, the basketball court and this building called Fish is finally finished. Oh yeah, and also we built this little hut that's over in the corner over here. Finally, I can sort of see Tilted Towers is starting to come together. I can't wait to see Lockdown's reaction at the end of the video. But on our last building, we sort of used up all of our quartz. And because some of the buildings we have left are gonna need loads of quartz, we need to find a way to get tons of it. And there's only one way to do that. So our first step for this plan is to build ourselves a gold farm. So I've done a bit of searching and I found the perfect gold farm by enx 4 And to build this farm, we needed a few resources that I didn't have, like some obsidian. Ah! I'm an idiot. And we even needed some turtle eggs, which actually ended up being quite hard to get. Now, make an egg. Which one's the one that makes an egg? Oh, these turtles are useless. Stop just doing 360s. <laughs> oh, think he's doing it. Egg. Where's the egg? Yes. Yay. Thank you, turtle. Thank you for your lovely eggs. And now I'm going to steal them all. Now we can actually get into the nether and start building our gold farm. Okay, so we need to find somewhere that's in the nether waste biome. And we need to go over some lava, I think. And then I think we just start digging out a massive area up here. And this massive area is so we can get a bunch of zobbly... Zobbly? <laughs> so that a bunch of zombie piglins spawn and then we can put our turtle eggs in the middle and then they should all run straight into our portal in the center. So now we've finished building the spawn room so we need to pill it all the way up to Y level 244. Now we have to build a bunch of stuff up here just like this and now the final step is to link up a bunch of portals and stuff. So it is a bit confusing. Okay, break this one. Oh my god, what the hell? These aren't all meant to have come through. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway. Finally, the farm is fully set up. So we should be able to wait here. And yes, piglins are starting to come through. Oh my god. And then we just sit here and whack them. And tons of gold will come out into our inventory. So now let's AFK the farm and see how many drops we get. From only about five minutes of AFKing, we've managed to get this much gold. Oh my god. So to convert all of this gold into the quartz for the buildings, we need to build ourselves a piglin bartering system. Basically, we just put gold in these chests here and here like that. And then I think we just jump on this pressure plate and get off it quickly. And then it drops gold there. And then the piglins that we'll have in these two chambers will pick that gold up. And then the items they drop will go down into these hoppers. Now we just need to wait and hope that some piglins spawn on this platform. But that might be quite difficult with all of these zombie piglins here. So yeah, we should probably kill some of them. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, we need to name these guys and then get them over into the system. Ow! Oh my god, I didn't think this through. Okay, we've named one of them. Ah! They're chasing me! Get in the hole. Get in there. Yes, go in. In, in, in. Yes! Oh, yes, we got one more guy. Let's name him. Ow! And then come over and trap him. Okay. Wait, is he just gonna jump in himself? No. He's gonna kill me! Uh-oh, this is so much more dangerous than it should be. Oh, he's so close! Yes! Yes, okay, finally we got them all in. Now we just have to build the sorting system. And now whenever our bartering system runs, all of the nether quartz will be sorted out into these chests. So I guess there's only one thing to do, and that is to test if it works. Okay, they've got it in their hands. Are they actually gonna trade though? Okay, I think they're trading. Yes, the items are coming into here. Yes! Okay, yes, the whole thing's fully working. Okay, now I guess all that's left to do is to get killing these guys and get as much quartz as we need. So I've not even been doing this for very long and look how much quartz we've already gotten. Oh my god, this is actually working so well. But anyway, let's get back to completing Tilted Towers. It's lucky we got all that quartz because both of the buildings I landed on next needed a ton of it. Also, these buildings were really annoying to build because they're all sorts of weird shapes. And there we go, we finally got both of these buildings fully complete. And hopefully, if you've played Fortnite before, they should be pretty recognisable. Our tilted is actually starting to look pretty full, but there's still a few gaps. So let's spin the wheel wheel again okay what's it gonna be oh and we got pawn shop oh my god um, so i just remembered something quite important so we've got all these slots for our other buildings but the pawn shop actually goes down there on a completely different level and we don't even have a road going down there yet so this one building is going to take a lot more work than we thought okay so we're back in tilted towers and down here is the section we need to build now so we've got to build a big ramp all the way down into this tunnel and then we've got to build these walls that go all the way around here like that and that's before we can even start building the pawn shop okay so the first challenge is to create a ramp all the way from there to here and it needs to be completely smooth gradient otherwise it will look weird 
Okay, I don't think that worked. No. Oh, bloody hell. Um, there we go. Finally figured out how to do it. So now it's time to build the big stone walls that come down either side of it. Okay, yeah, so I've spent quite a while doing this, but I definitely think this design looks pretty good. So now that we've got this section done, it's time to add the next part of the road. But I think some of these trees are sort of in the way. Goodbye, trees. And hopefully it doesn't blow up our build. <laughs> Oh my god, I did not expect it to work that well. But, ah! Oh my god! I think I just blew up the zombies' trees and now they're not very happy. Ow, they set me on fire. Getting this whole lower level section done was a lot of work. But I had to make sure that everything was exactly as it was in Fortnite. Because this is one of the spots that me and my brother Lockdown actually used to get one of our first Fortnite wins. Finally, this entire area is basically finished. Obviously, other than when we come back at the end and add the cars and stuff. This is probably the most detailed part in the entire map so far. And we've even got a little staircase to get up between the different layers. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this whole bit's turned out and I can't wait to show lockdown. But now it's time for our next building. And we got noms. That's a pretty small building, so let's do one more spin and see what else we get. Oh, and we got park. Uh, I'm not looking forward to doing this one. Okay, so the first building we landed on is noms and it looks just like that. But even though this building looks like it's basically finished, there is one thing missing. There's actually meant to be a staircase coming down here, and the only resource that I can find that looks anything similar to it is actually waxed copper blocks. But for that, we need honeycomb, and I actually have none. So we need to try and find ourselves some bees. Where are these little bees? So oh, bees. Oh, that actually looks so cool as well. You can just see tilted in the background while I'm searching for bees. Hmm, I wonder where they could be. Ah, uh, uh. Ooh, we spotted a bee. No, where? Where could the other bees be? <laughs> Ah, oh, I need to stop. Okay, B, show me your home. And then I will steal it. Yes, it's right here. Okay, we need to wait for him to get back in. Get back in your little bee house. Come on. Come on, B. Be a good B. Ah, oh, my God. Oh, go on. Go in, go in. In the house. Oh, my. This is so annoying. And while waiting for the bee to go in, I might have gone a bit mad. Bee, 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 bee. I'm so bored. I'm just messing with this. But look, if I do this, they both come up really fast. Then if I do it again. Oh, what am I even on about? A bee just went in. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, they're finally both in. And now. I think we should just be able to break this and it should drop the beehive. Hopefully. Yes. Nice. So now we have this and there's two bees inside it. Okay, now we've got these guys. All we need to do is find ourselves a few more beehives. And now we can make ourselves a little honeycomb farm. And bam, there we go. So now we have this little sanctuary for all the bees. And we have these little redstone circuits that harvest the honeycomb and put it into this chest. So now while we're waiting for the honeycomb to be produced, let's craft ourselves up some copper blocks. And then we can lay them all out around here. And hopefully they won't take too long to oxidize. And after about four years of waiting, we've got a decent amount of honeycomb, but most of our copper is barely oxidized. So I think while we're waiting for that to oxidize, we should probably get to work on our next building. And the next thing we're building is something I've been dreading for this entire video. But for it, we're going to need a bunch of leaves. So, uh, I'm sorry, forest, but... Perfect. But before we can do any building with the leaves, we need to fill in the floor. Now we've just got to build a few little flower beds, just like that. But now it's time for the bit that I've been dreading. And that is to build some trees. Ooh, trees, not trees. And if you think I'm a bit weird for hating building trees, it's just because they're so much harder to build than buildings. Because they have all like little natural wiggly bits and stuff. <laughs> That's not a very good explanation. But you know what I mean. But let's start off with a nice little easy tree. So let's just build something like that. And then, bam! Yeah, look at that. That looks so much like a tree. <laughs> now it's time to move on to the next size of tree. And they're the ones that go in the four corners. Okay, well, I guess we should just start building it. And hopefully it turns out looking good. And now let's just place a bunch of fences around it. And now we just spam a bunch of leaves on it and hope it looks like a tree. Okay, last leaf. And now, moment of truth. Will it even look like a tree? Oh, yes! If we have a look at the tree in Fortnite that I'm going for, this almost looks exactly like that. So I'm pretty happy. Now we basically just need to copy this in all four corners and there we go but now it's time to do the big trees that go in the middle and let's just say i am not looking forward to this but once i actually got building it wasn't that bad and i think the final product came out looking really close to fortnite so hopefully lockdown agrees okay i think this should be it so let's go down and check what it actually looks like three two one Oh my god, that actually looks way better than I thought it would. So if we stand on top of this building and compare it to actual Fortnite, yeah, I think that will definitely do. Yes, and in the time it took us to do that tree section, a lot of our copper is actually oxidized to the level that we need. And that means we can finally finish this building. 
so now we've only got three more buildings left and to be honest the one that goes here isn't anything special and it's made out of basically the same materials as loads of the other buildings so let's not waste any time and quickly get it built also, I think this building's called Tacos because of this little taco shop down here. So I thought I'd add it in. But now it's time to move on to our last two buildings. And these buildings are some of the biggest ones in all of Fortnite. But to build them, we're going to need one new resource. And the thing we need is actually smooth sandstone. So I could just get a bunch of sand from this bit here. But because we're going to need so much, I think we should find a desert. Oh, yes. So I guess let's get to demolishing it. Also, this might seem fun from this perspective. But when you're actually doing it, it makes you feel really sick. Building these two buildings took so long, but I knew in the back of my mind that they were the last ones we had to do. Oh, come on, we've only just got this one last building. Even though this was my last building, there was still so much more left to do. Like the cars, trees, and even the mountains. Okay, last few blocks. And bam, there we go. Finally, every single building in Tilted Towers has been built. But obviously, we're still not fully finished as we have a lot of details to add. And the first thing I've noticed is extremely annoying. So when we're flying around like this, the roads really blend in with the roofs of the buildings and if we actually look in fortnite the roads are more gray than black so this isn't going to be very fun but we're going to have to resurface all of the roads i really wish i'd thought of this before i used all that black concrete okay so first let's use our duplicator machine to get tons and tons of gray concrete and head on over to our really complicated looking concrete converter and now we can just afk here for a bit and get all of the gray concrete we need while i spent hours and hours converting all of the roads to gray concrete i thought to myself that stuff like this is probably the reason why this video is taking so long finally all of the roads are converted and you might also notice that i've rounded off all the corners as well so hopefully the roads are looking a lot more similar to fortnite but the roads are looking a bit empty and that's because we haven't built any cars yet so let's try and design a few of them um, <laughs> don't think this looks enough like a car, to be honest. And that's mainly because I've had to build it diagonal, because that's how the car is positioned in Fortnite. And the blocks I've used are the ones that match the colours the closest. But I think we're going to have to compromise on both those things, because, yeah, this doesn't really look like a car. So let's just delete this and pretend it never happened, and try and build it again. Okay, yeah, that definitely looks a lot better than the last one. Also, another thing we need to change is I don't think these really work as headlights. So let's just move a few little cows and there we go we have the perfect headlights and it even makes the wheels look a lot more realistic too as realistic as you can get in minecraft anyway but now let's just add a few extra bits and there we go it definitely is looking a lot more like a car now so now all we need to do is that same process for all the different types of cars in tilted and then scatter them all around the roads in the correct places and hopefully we can actually get them all to look like cars the next car i designed was this little pickup truck and it actually came out looking really good but for some reason with the next car in the map i was copying the car was gray but in most of the maps it was actually yellow so don't worry i'll fix that later on but next it was time to design something a lot more complicated and that was this blue lorry but before we can even start building a lorry we've got a slight problem so the only block that is the right color and also has stairs and slabs is actually prismarine so we need to find ourselves an ocean monument oh and there we go that was quite fast so now we just need to sneak in steal a bit of this prismarine how hard could that be and hopefully we don't die to these guardians people. Ow. Oh no. No, we got minor fatigue. Well, I got four blocks. That's that's good enough, isn't it? Okay, let's just quickly steal some milk from a cow. Oh. <laughs> that is not a cow. Yeah, I don't want milk from you, Mr. Horse. <laughs> okay, yes, there's some actual cow. Okay, there we go. Now I've got no minor fatigue anymore. Yes, this is working much better. Nice, so we should only need a few stacks of this and then we can get building our lorry. Okay, let's see how it's looking so far. Oh, yes. Okay, nice. This is actually looking way better than I thought it would. But there's still a lot more detail to add and we still need to add a full trailer so let's see if it turns out as good as i'm hoping okay there we go it's finally finished and yeah i'd say it looks pretty close to the one that's actually in fortnite uh other than the fact that you can walk right under it but that's just because the scale is so much bigger anyway i think we've got the hang of how to design the cars now so let's just repeat the same process for all of the different types and then scatter them all around the roads where they need to go i really hope lockdown appreciates all of the details of the vehicles because i spent hours making sure every single one looked just 
just like they do in Fortnite. And I'd definitely say my favorite one is this ice cream truck. After some of the most painstaking hours of my life, we have finally finished all of the cars and even the roads. So as you can see, I've not only added in all the different types of cars in all the random colors that they come in, but I also thought I should add in all of the road markings because otherwise the cars don't really know where to go. And also because I've added in all the parking spaces, I've also added in some walls that go around the car parks. So now it's starting to feel a lot more like actual tilted towers. But there are still a few things missing from the build and that is mainly the details like little lampposts and some of the other buildings have like vents on top of them and stuff so we need to add all of them. But I have no idea how we're going to be able to make something like this in Minecraft. But I guess there's only one way to figure out if we can do it and that is to try. So I reckon if we do something like this then add a little fence like that and then we can hopefully get the right shape and then if we add these two things either side of it I think that is probably the best we can do in Minecraft. And then for this little post box next to it I think we could just do something like that and yeah it sort of it sort of looks a bit weird but I think that will definitely have to do. Now we just need to do the same design process for all of the other little things around the place and this is what I've came up with for the fire hydrant and yeah this one started to look a bit weird. Also one of the most important things we need to design is the lamppost so let's see how we can make this one look. It doesn't look too bad other than this bit here but there's not really any other way I can do this. So I think we've got the hang of designing these little extra details so now it's time to spend another 10 million years adding them all over the map. This is going to be so much fun. And this part of the project took way longer than I thought it would because I had to build every single little thing that you see in Tilted. So that's not just the little post boxes and stuff but also all the vents on the roofs of the buildings and also all of the trees. I'm just hoping that lockdown actually appreciates all these little details. Finally after three entire days of work we've managed to finish all of the details in Tilted Towers. We've added in every single detail on all the roofs of all the buildings and all the little post boxes and all those sort of things around the edges and some stuff does look a bit weird like these are tires but it's the best I could figure out how to do but by far the most annoying thing to do was definitely the trees. <laughs> I do not want to admit how long I spent on them but now that we've done all of the details on the roads the paths and even the roofs there is one more major thing that is missing from Tilted Towers so as you can tell the edges of our build don't actually look like they do in Fortnite and that's because we're missing the giant mountains that go next to them and I think once we add them it'll bring the entire build together but adding them in is definitely not going to be easy so let's break it down into a three-step plan and the first step is to collect all of the dirt that we need and it's going to be quite a lot Now it's time for the second stage of the plan and that is to map out the edges of all the mountains. And then I had to fill in all the gaps as well. And oh my god that took quite a while. But now it's time for the thing that's going to take the longest and that is to actually build the mountains themselves. And then once they're finished we'll finally be able to see if lockdown will be impressed or not. Building the mountains was the hardest part of the entire project. Not only did I have to place thousands and thousands of blocks but the shape and size of the mountains had to be the exact same as they are in Fortnite. It got so bad at one point that I almost completely gave up. Ah, uh, uh, why did I do this? But I knew that we were so close to finishing, so I soldiered on and kept placing blocks. Finally, after an entire year of work and over 200,000 blocks placed, Tilted Towers was complete. Oh my god. Hopefully you guys are impressed by the build, but now it's time to see what Lockdown thinks. It looks exactly like it is in Fortnite. I can literally tell from the tree. Yeah, that took so long to get it to look the same. This is sick. Why is the lorry so big? <laughs> <laughs> you can literally go under it. And do you remember when we hid under these stairs to get our first win? <laughs> Oh yeah, that was sick. Everything looks like so much like it does in Fortnite. It's weird. <laughs> well, I'd hope it does. That's that's literally the entire point. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, also look, this is my favorite car that I made. That looks sick. Why is the ice cream so fat? <laughs> I love how like it's surrounded by the mountains as well. Like it makes it feel like you're actually in Tilted Towers. Oh, do you remember do you remember always landing at this building and you'd go oh, on yeah. that side and I go on this side? Yeah. <laughs> I literally remember where all the chests are in this building. Yeah, don't look inside, though. Why? What's inside? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try and guess what this is. The hell? Um. How do you not? How can you not tell? It's a bin. Oh, it's a bin. It's exactly like a bin, doesn't it? Hey, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so lockdown. 
it's time for the important question. Have I succeeded in building your favorite Fortnite location? Well, considering it's got 200,000 plus blocks and it's a complete exact replica of Tilted Towers. Yeah. I'm going to say... Yeah? Yes. Yes! <laughs> Let's go!